Welcome back to Black Tiff's Gang Lounge. My name is Black Tiff, and here we are with both Helgi and Chakrub Steve. We are all here tonight and getting ready to go to Helgi's Hall and have a good, good time, people. So, let me just do the last couple of checks here, make sure everything is happy, running, and all ticks. And it looks like it, so we'll swap out the keyboard, as always, for the controller. And then we can get on with it. Hey, Helgs. Hey puppy. So people, as always, thank you for your love and support. As very kind of you, and we very much appreciate it. And of course, special thanks to the people on the board. So Gabby for the last time we streamed that donated to us. And of course, W during the week. Thank you so so much for your love and support. So let's get back into it. Hope as well. That's the one. So we had everything we needed last time. So let's kick it off. See what's Shaman, I have a beetroot that I'm not going to cook on there. I'll just turn this up. So yeah, I've taken over this house. I've dug myself a basement and I'm going to dig, dig a secondary basement because that's basically at ground level. So I want, want it deeper. You are freaking my man. You just rush in here like, hey, like, what do I do? Nothing. I'm like, hmm. You make me feel uncomfortable, sir. You seriously do not need to rush me like that. Okay, so. Let's go outside and see what there is to do. Ah, beautiful out here. There we go. Gabby in KZ, thank you so much for that donation last week. So yeah, we put them all up here on the boards. And our little water and fire block if you stand right here it looks freaking amazing like i've done magic but if you stand on the side you actually see what i have done but i had to it works it's good uh we do need to go find some dripstone tonight so i might need to go back down into the pit uh for time and while i also have to uh get two more lavas but I don't and trust you guys not to uh, take a, a lava shower. Seriously, sir. Uh, yeah, I was going to do something else here, but I think actually this step down here, I want to expand it a little bit. And this area here, this area here, will actually be like a step down workshop to go with this. Which is where I initially took up residence. And I also took up residence in here. But I added the bed back that I nabbed off with, so. No harm done. Forest is growing nicely, so we can come back out here for some more treeage. And our farm's coming along nicely, so happy days. We've got another watermelon down there, which is nice. Um, I do think, though, on the other hand, I was going to, like, just cover this top completely up um i think i want to put some glass in here or just nothing i'm not sure yet i had ideas and now i just feel maybe it's not such a good idea but we need to build a little place for um not for you guys uh a little farm area that's what I was thinking about doing up here. Because see, we've got grass that's grown up the steps. Which is the second reason why I did that. So this whole area will eventually be covered in um, grass. So I can actually expand this and build it over this way. And this could all be our animal pens. Not too hard to maybe make this double wide. But all the animals can get up here relatively easily and quickly. <laughs> You know, kick, please. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking here. Is tonight we need to focus on making a farm. And I do want to do something out here. I... There's a bat doing out here. A bat. It's Batman. Hey, Betty. There's a lot of bats fluttering around out here. It's kind of weird. But anyway. We got this beautiful ocean thing here. 
uh, I'd like to build a little dock area here because this is kind of nice shallow area for the boats so maybe stick it out a little bit that side stick out a little bit this side uh, maybe make this like too deep and have this as like a safe harbor zone to come and land in what is that sun I think it's setting uh, but yeah we'll eventually have to dig down again to get down to our spot we'll see if we can find some dripstone because that's one thing we just don't have is good dripstone. Let me fix that up a little bit too. Just trying to figure out where the sun is. I think the sun is setting, but I can't 100% say that it is or isn't setting. I don't know, it's right above us, midday. Hey, Mark, I've got tons of time to start building here. Uh, my man is very much obsessed with that place. What oh, weird. Uh, metal pickaxe. So we've got everything. We do need some armor though. See if I can make some armor. Uh, 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 armor. Three more for a chest piece. That's what I really need. Do we have more? Oh, we have fish in here. Last furnace is there. I don't think I got more iron. There was more iron in there, but I wasn't going to mess with what was left in there. Because I was going to get electrocuted if I continued on with that silliness. Uh, we'll throw this up here. Got that. I do need to organize this because it's, it's already a mess. Uh, iron. Uh -huh. um, I don't know where to put the lightning rod. You pull up there too. We put it there for now. That that should keep us safe enough for long enough, so we don't get electrocuted here. Check my phone. Yeah, oh, people are sending me a message somewhere. Okay. Uh, stone sword. Stone sword's almost messed up. So, down we go. Hopefully this time we don't... Oh, that's what I need. I need candles. But I don't have coal. I don't make charcoal, I suppose. I have to remember how to make charcoal. I think you just burn chunks of wood to make charcoal. I'm sort of pain making chocolate, I remember that much. Right, our forest will provide for us. Thank you. Thank you. I really have to go and plunder a couple of the uh, cherry blossom seedlings. Okay, let's go do this. Once we have this, then we at least have everything we need. And yeah, that horse doesn't want to leave. And he doesn't like me either. I come to learn. Huggy, okay, just sit still, Peggy. And where are you going, baby? Where are you going? Oh, you want to, ow, you want to go sit on my legs. Okay, right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, she she is on a mission. Probably shouldn't burn my sticks because I'm gonna need them in a minute. Uh do we have more sticks? Maybe we have more wood as such. Uh, let's make that and then we make stickage. Dude is seriously like, hey, I'm taking over here. And I'm like, man, you're kind of in the way. I'm not going to lie. Just, sir. Sir. I'm trying to claim my freaking bits here so I can go 
go into the Neverland and adventure. I need iron. I need iron. I think I yes, I did. I found diamonds that I they lost. Hey, well, how you doing, brother? Welcome back to the game launch. Good to see you. <laughs> nice man. Okay, let's drive down. Okay, boom. Okay, so now I need to go light up this hole that I went into last time. Oof, do not fall here. We will screw ourselves pretty ways from yesterday. Okay, there we go. That was the lava pit that I was actually looking for last time. Do I have my bucket with me? Yes, I do. Beautiful. Um, Let's go check out that piece, because... Hey, that thing wasn't there last time. I loaded in. Whack. Hmm. Well, let's go get some lava first. And there's some more iron. Sweet. There's a singular iron. But yeah, I had diamonds. But the diamonds, when I had an accident with the lava pool, made me explode. And that was one or two things that fell in there. The other thing was an iron pickaxe. Um, okay, so here we go. That looks like diamond right there. Yep, it is. And it's gold too. Yes. Yes. Ooh, there's lapis underneath it. I need one piece. Yeah, I don't want to go really hunting into nothingness here. Okay. There's always goodies around this place. There's some redstone. Yeah, these types of areas I always like having. You always find goodies in here, so... Have that up there. Have this down here. Um, yeah, still not happy because last time I think I got five diamonds out of the spot before I dropped it into the lava. Ooh... Okay, that is the side of legs breaking. What the hell was that? Here you go. There's something sparkling up. Ah, oh, it's one of you got, dude. You're gonna get no. Don't go down there, man. Hey, yeah, poor dude's gonna not make have a good day. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's ride the crazy train downstairs. Uh, there's gold, redstone, gold, things that wants to kill me. Okay, beautiful. Gold. Let's get up and out. Come on. Come buddy. Be right back. All good, man. I'll be here, chairman, trying not to play in the lava again. I like lava. I just don't like playing in the lava, that's all. Hey, hey, look at what we missed. Good times of hoy. Nice. Then I have even rest, less reason to want to die. Or play with you guys. We'll go into that pit. Well, there's a spider behind me. I know how this works, spider. I go into the pit to investigate. You jump me from behind. Yeah, it's a very old... It's like the oldest trick in the book. Still works, though. Just really not interested in having that happen to me. Why spicy noodles spicy? Because always they'd just be sad noodles. Nobody likes lie noodles, man. 
my spice. If I buy something that says spicy noodles and it's not spicy, then I'm not happy. Like, if I buy something that says spicy, I expect, I expect damage to occur or it's not good. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, this thing is definitely not here last time. Yeah. Diamonds and tracks. And a book. Smite and looting. And more candles. Yeah, I'm all about the candles there. Although I've realized one tiny flaw in my forever smart plan is that I don't have enough space for anything here. Because... I really want that. I still need to explore my side place. Okay. Um. I think YouTube is doing so it's smart. Yeah, I'm not even going to comment on that one more. But fair enough. Nice that people are figuring that uh, it will work. But we are focusing on Minecraft for now, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Hey, hey. Nice. I can get maybe enough iron to build some armor. Put this one up here. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I'm on here. Make you grow on the taxes. True that. Yay. There's a mushroom growing on the wood. But this thing is basically completely independent. There's tracks on there, which is Cool. The mushrooms are weird. I've never seen mushrooms actually grow on wood. Although it makes sense in real life, mushrooms always grow on wood. There's more iron there, but that's where last time I had problems with living long enough to uh, escape with all my beautiful loot. Yeah. I feel like this is a good trap hole. You jump in there to go after something and then a creeper just mysteriously spawns behind you and blows your legs off. Okay. Another way to get up to this one. But we are running out of candles again. This is not even the... Yeah, I'd like to be a maybe that walkway. I think that could be where you can find some goodies. But that's not just going to happen for us here. Okay. That is also not going to work. We make that one go that way. Hmm. I'm gonna work over. That could then work. Okay. 
this? This is another one, yeah. This this part is really broken because there's another floor even further up. Minecraft or Farm Town. This is a whole village that we're doing, not. Ooh, there is some lapis there. Yeah, here we can at least kind of get into the dirt. Alright. Yeah, I saw you. I really don't want to see you. I just know I've seen you. Yeah, there's more layers further up. Into this side of the rock. Maybe a little bit that way. Uh, there's a monster spawner up there. I remember that. I saw it when I was f messing around with this waterfall. So there's definitely stuff above me. Yeah, I'm just jumping out. I want to go back. I really don't want to get messed up here with all my loot on me, so let's just get out while we can, safely. I'm going to come, I need to come back for another lava. I haven't seen any dripstone down there, so that is problematic in itself. There's no dripstone, no infinite lava spawn. This side is just filled with absolute nasty. Okay, let's hold our breath and be quick about it. Why is it screwed up? Uh, I'll read that in a second. Hey, we're out. Uh, once when I was nine, I took Simba for school. <laughs> Right, no, you'll be all right. Hey, baby villager. This is not baby. Other thing. Yeah, I need to build something around this tree. Like, this needs to be like a little garden area. I need a fence up there. <sighs> hey, uh, lava, firstly. So, let's just open up. Jeez, I don't like digging into this thing. Yeah, there we go. I'd actually like glass blocks on here more. At least on the two that it's already filled. Do you know what we do to baby villagers? Leave them alone to become big adult villagers? Okay. One there, one there, and then that there till I can pull it out. So that doesn't look like a full block, but I think it's because of the flow going down. Okay, you're snoring very loud, Peggy. Yeah, that can go all up there. We've got some fencing already, which is great. Uh, we made some more charcoal, so we'll put that down there. And throw that in there. Nice. Probably take at least half of that. Half of that. And we're going to build some more fencing. Okay. Sticks. Uh, yeah, let's make some fencing. Because I want to at least fence up this area somewhat. I actually need to fence up the whole place. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like a good idea, Mo. I'll do it from there to. Here. Open.
Yeah, that'll be good there. So nothing can just jump over. Uh, oh. I guess if I suppose if I keep it in line with that, then I would have to do it up here. But we'll just do it down here for now. Uh, uh, I can keep it up, so it can come down. Add that in. That's as far as the fencing is going to go. I'll just mug that out so it's a little better there. And yeah, that can connect up to here-ish, and then this place will be a nice safe spot. Oh, do you? I'll tell you if you're mid or big. Yeah, exactly, man. I can't tell you how old I am. It will break the magic on me and I'll just turn to dust <laughs> okay uh, my man is seriously interested in that place but as you can see no dripstone it's just sadness in there at the end of the day what I will do here is basically make a step down This can be like a little cut-in area for us to work. Might actually cut some of this out and then we'll make like furnaces and stuff here. Maybe cut it out even more and then lo like stone line this also. It, is, it looks like a little workshop. Like I said, I want this area here to basically look like a workshop. This is more of a trial and error thing up here, but... I think now I want to make this into a little workshop here, man. like a wood thing in this side, and then basically build like a dome over it. But then the, these guys can come in here and just work on all this stuff, so I'm not thinking, did I only fight or release the whole universe? No. Did I cause the Big Bang? No. Yeah, so, we need one more lava, and then I need to seriously go find some dripstone. And I'm going to drop off a bunch of stuff. Iron. How much do I need for iron? Three more. I should have three more. They're beautiful. And I'll throw the sticks in there. I'm not going to last enough, so, right. Good enough for a diamond helmet, damn. Don't need that, that was kind of wild. There we go, sweet. Now we are ready to rock and roll. Uh, saplings go in here, this, 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 that needs to come with me, you can stay up here. That I will use in a moment. Diamonds definitely can stay here, that will stay with me. And we will need to go get some more wood. Hey, Algus. Snoring on my leg again. <sighs> Here we go. Ah, wait. Not axe, that's... Shovel. <laughs> Tell me a joke. Oh, man, I don't know any jokes. It's been a long time since I had heard a good joke worth telling anyway. Most jokes from when I was a kid would be super offensive these days, so keep those on the inside. Well, so I really want to do something nicer for you. We need to upgrade your, your workspace. Uh, 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 what was I doing again? Sticks. 32 sticks. I need my 24 candles. Okay. Now we've got candles. I can go back down in there. 
We seriously do need to find some goodies down there. Uh, you can go up and you can come down. Okay, back down into the nastiness. I hope people without getting messed up because there's always a good chance that something happens here. Hey, boom, out we go. Tripstone. That sounds like a robot having a spasm somewhere. Now I'm really freaked out. There's no robots in the game, yet the thing make robots scary sounds. What do you call a KFC in a far? What do you call a KFC in a farm? No idea. Tell me, Lord. Enlighten me. I won't continue. Ah, alright. It'll be one of those types of things. Well, I'm assuming the monster spawner is working and the monsters are just falling off and dying. That's kind of nice of them. They're resolving their own issues here. I'm trying to think of where dripstone spawns, and I know it's not in here because this is like a lava flow zone. I have to deal with you, and I really don't want to. There we go. Okay, the hissing doesn't need to go on that far game. I'm sufficiently freaked out as it is. Okay, so what's glowing down there then? Is this like glowstone on the side or is there actually... That's gonna go way deeper. No! That is the land where you get stuck and die. Ooh, a little further deeper hole to go down upon. Hey, let's see what's down here. Other than bad things, it's probably going to try and eat me. Okay, this is not a sad lava pit, really. I think I need to go up to the mountains and go and mess around there. But I will take the iron. There's a lot of guys in here. Up, oh, friends. You don't look friendly after all. Man, you just you just play over there, man. So, so what's in this area that's so amazing, by the way? You guys are all clustering around here like there's three donuts or something. Or are you just clustering because it's fun? I kind of just wish you blew up and made a hole somewhere. Well, unfortunately, this is just a pit. Gotta go. All good, man. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe. Have a better one. And look forward to catching you next week, brother. Yeah. Um, minor coolness is to be found here. Nothing that is going to blow one's mind. I do need to find a lava pool still. I'll leave that there. The, the light it provides is enough for me at this point. What's down here? There is diamond here and 
lava. Well, I'm not so interested in the lava, but the diamond kind of got my attention. Ooh, hello. There's lots of diamond here, by the way. Yeah, looks like all the diamond I'm going to get out of there. Sweet. Going down the hole of badness actually paid off for once. Normally you just end up in there and get trapped by the water and drown. What I feel is the usual outcome. Alright, let's get out of here. It's still very freaking dark. Uh, video setting. Where is the video setting? Right now it's... There are like 65. Um, point of view set it up to like 80. I can set it higher, but sometimes it looks weird. Yeah, so that's a little easier on the eyeball, so it's not like pitch black if you're looking at your screen. Dude is moving like stink around here. But I know where I want to go to next. That's going to be a little bit of a journey to get there. Very small journey, so don't worry. If you're not into long journeys, this one will not be a long journey. Don't still need to go get lava, so we need to go do that first. Where's the fountain things up there, isn't it? Okay. Ow! Well, there's villagers down here. Odd. Okay, got my bucket in hand. Follow the river down. So, it's running over gold there. Oh, jeez. Thinking about unwanted visitors down here. So, this one is only like one layer deep. Ow, Helgi. Hoping for a little bit more, I suppose, but it's a cool place. It truly is a very, very cool place. But this is not a place where I'm going to get any dripstone, so it doesn't really help me whatsoever. And the enemies are starting to get kind of thick down here, so I'm, I'm getting out. I'm not. Ow, Helgi! Stop kicking! Yeah. He's not going to stop. Come on. All I can do is be faster than him. We'll throw out the lava and toast him, but it's most likely going to make a mess, and I'm going to be the one who regrets what goes on. Come on, swim, buddy, swim. Let's get out of here. Yeah, there's gurgling everywhere now. Man, I don't have anything for you. Feel my shovel. Zombie games always have shovels, so... I think you deserve to get shoveled, too. Bet I was light up there. Yeah, let's get out. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All the way up. That's on. Ooh, she's game. That was a little uncool there, by the way. Pushing me off. From here, and up we go. Yeah, the uh, downward swim is actually pretty cool. You're good. The upward swim, if you screw around in there, you can actually drown, so. Not cool. Yeah. Oh man, Creeper, do you have to be here? 
We seriously have to be here? Oh, creeper times two. Come on. Come on. I don't want none of you guys having fun times inside of my base. That's illegals. Come here. Here, piggy. There we go. Hopefully the other one... Yeah, okay, the other one didn't explode. I was a little worried that one gets catapulted onto the land and then explodes on the land and just drops a pit. Because, yes, I have actually had that where one goes... One explodes, throws the other one out, and the other one was in the process of exploding, lands somewhere, and then nukes a hole through there, so... We've got some cats. I you guys keep creepers away. But you're not that sort of cat. There we go. No, I just need to find my other block. Another glass block, but that will do for now, so... We don't have any accidental steepages into hell there. We do need a new sword, so let's break out that. And that should... We've got enough sticks. Make a diamond sword. Who needs two? Yeah, we'll make a diamond sword. Let me put that and that away. And... Place uh, five in there. There we go. So that's all cool. Nice. So we got food. We've got a diamond sword now, so we can slash and hack our way through life. Let's see if the bell still works. <laughs> Sorry, I was messing with you guys. Right, cows. You guys have got tons of cows here, and a couple. It looks like they're drowning in there. That's kind of cool that you guys have this in here, but your enclosure seems strangely small, shall I say. Um, there's a dock here, so I want to get to that mountain. What I'm hoping for is to find a... Do, do, do. Come on, brains. We need to find a lush cave, because that should be also a good place to find dripstone. And I'm going to go up that way to get to the other side where the cherry blossoms are. Sorry, my brain has taken a while. Oh, it's a baby wolf. What's up, wolfies? Look at those wolves there. Good wolf. Any wolf that decides I'm not worth his time in biting is a good wolf. I will collect some of these beautiful flowers, though. So. Helgi, you're being summoned. Helgi. Helgi. Helgi is dead asleep. <laughs> is not in the mood for waking up. She's being summoned to go somewhere, but she is just dead asleep and bitten into the side of my ankle. And it actually kind of hurts. I'm not gonna lie, it actually really hurts, but she does not care. Okay, you're being summoned, puppy. Come on. Okay. Okay, there's noises out there. I don't want to drop my chair and then you fall on your head. Okay, it's just not worth it tonight. Yeah, there's beautiful flowers everywhere, and I'm looking for a hole to crawl into. My whole edge there. That helps. Thought I saw things that looked like holes that I can go into, but maybe I've been deceived by this game. Okay, you're being summoned, puppy. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, puppy. Come on. I'm going to drop you down a little bit. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, like I said, not in the mood for listening tonight. 
So he found a spot and she slept. Oh, my foot. Damn. Like I said, she looks all cute, but she has these nasty, like, spikes underneath her jaw. Just drives them to the side of your foot. I should have just taken the waterfall up, really. Would have been easier. Yeah, up we go. I'm not seeing anything I want to see. Maybe it didn't load correctly. I'm pretty sure it loaded like holes in this mountainside that looked like a stuff that you can crawl into and find things, but there we are. Not going to happen, so let's just ride right up to the top, jump over and see what is actually up here. Oh, there we go. I got a kind of cave-ish hole. That's a beautiful sight up here, though. I don't think dripstone would occur this low, but... I can do nothing but... Try. That is a little creepy game, whatever the hell that was. Uh, yeah, there is some holes there. Ow! This is a flower biome. This will go perfectly for the... Holy crap. Look at this place. Hmm. We should move the village up here. Build the village along the rim. And on these flat edges and into this stuff. All the way around and you can have that just sitting down there. Ew, that's a good idea, actually. Uh, I still got food on me. Yeah, see, this would be an amazing place to build. Um... Hmm. Well, let's sort of circle around and see what's out here. See what we're looking at. Another cave there. And a little donkey. Yeah, I like this place already. There's donkeys and flowers. You kind of, you kind of got me. And there's a beehive. So now I'm extra happy because I haven't managed to spawn a beehive down there yet. But there's one up here. So I'll just do a little maintenance here for you guys. There you go. So you guys can now happily get in and out of there. Sometimes the bees can't get in if the thing sits on the ground, I've seen. Maybe they fixed it, maybe it's not really a problem, but I've seen it before where that thing's on the ground, they try and get in, and they're just buzzing around, struggling, and doing nothing more than that. Okay, um, wow. We do have some amazing landscape here to work with. This is going to be a really really amazing place to build a a new village so that's what we're going to try and do there you go see bees can now happily get in and out do not harm the bees i actually like bees here in australia we have tons of bees which is freaking awesome one of my favorite ones is the blue banded bee uh, medium sized bee it looks like a mini bumble basically and it has rather than you know the traditional black and yellow stripes across the back end of the bee it has black and there's bright blue stripes across the back literally as the name says blue bandit and it is cool i love seeing those little bees and they're solitary ones so they live by themselves that was a cool looking pit down there. So, what I still would like to see is where they nest. Because apparently they will all just cluster together in one spot and sleep together. And I'm like, I could seriously just be super happy if I one day found a little stick with like four or five of these guys just napping on it. Well, it's like a bucket list thing that you can just tick off seen blue banded bees snuggling together 
But yeah, I think this area really seriously needs to be developed into a village. I don't know what type of village. I just feel village up here. Like Alpine village. I don't have snow, but it will be Alpine and summertime. I feel like that could be a good one. There's a lot of massive peaks here. You see, once we have a good base set up, the next thing that's going to occur again was I know back when I used to do Minecraft, what people really love to see was the let's pick a direction, pick a thing, and then we walk 20,000 blocks and see what we get. And I am pretty keen myself to actually do a 20,000 block march out again. I think the most I've done was. 40 or 50,000 blocks. I have to say, stuff gets kind of wacky out there at that range. Um, so, yeah. And yes, I have actually died when I've done these ones and just teleported back to a certain spot. But I'm, I'm seriously thinking another 20,000 blocker will be a good start. So maybe next weekend. I'll put it up and you guys can vote. Um... Uh, continue working on building the new mountain village or go for a 20,000 block exploration. Something going on there and there. Is that a village up there? I need a spyglass. Oh, look, there's something there. It looks like a village. I did end a lot better than I was thinking I was going to. I knew I was never going to make it across. Yeah, look, it's a village. Village in the sky. So that's the third village in this region. So let's go have a look at that one. Ah, uh, sweet water. Ow. Yeah, that's my way off this freaking hole. Nothing better than when you're trying to find a way off a hill and you find that. Well, that, I just want to look at something around this corner before we... Ah, yes. So, my thoughts are correct. You find giant hills, you're going to find dripstones. And look at that. We found dripstone and dripstone blocks. Um, we'll drop... Uh, dripstone blocks are pretty cool too. I just don't want to break my legs. Whoa, hello. I was hoping for a little more than this as well, unfortunately. Always wanting more. Being greedy with it. But there we go. I've got nine dripstone and that. So, happy days. So now... Let's have a little snack, a little mid-road snackage, and then let's go look at this other village that's out here. And then we'll try and swing around when we go back. Go to the village that's basically behind me, uh, as that would be the one that we seriously need. There's pumpkins here. You don't really see many villages that far up, so. Yeah, I see you too, Mr. Skelly. Not even a drop interested in you. But I want to go that way because there is cherry blossoms and I would like to chop at one just enough to get one of the blossoms so I can come this way and do a thing or two with it. So, let's see. Where's to see? Jump across, jump across. There's a village down there too. Jeez. Oh, wow. Okay. So those guys are living. Well, all the trees on that place are screwed. 
And me coming here has screwed it even more. Jeez. Okay, you can seriously kind of screw up around here and not have a long life. But those guys have got a nice village there. They've got cherry blossoms on their mountain. Assuming the cherry blossoms only grow at a certain altitude, naturally. And then just went, well, you know, this place is so freaking be beautiful that we should do that. Thank you for the bunk up, but I, I would have taken the slow, careful way up any day compared to the uh, TNT lift. Hello oh, and thank you. I'm more interested to see what's going up here. I did see, yeah. See? I told you. I saw something there. I saw something wild. This is a very, very beautiful map. You guys got bees too. You guys make me happy. Talk about a place that I want to come and take over and live in. Somebody got screwed there. This is good. Oh, you don't. Thank you. Huh. I can happily come and take over a spot here and live on this mountain top. I don't even have to start building a village on the other mountain top. We just live on this mountain top. Ooh, what's this place? Huh. I've never seen a building like this. Not even close to something like that. No, bad idea. Chunky. Yeah, I'm just trying to live here, man. I'm just trying to do my thing, but man. Man, oh man, this is a freaking amazing village. And then you got a bunk down there. You got town center in here. I think this is way better than the village that I've claimed as my own. Yeah, it's even got emeralds in here. Well, I think I might have to uh, abandon my other village and come and live up here. Look at the view. I do have food and other stuff that I might want to shuttle over here. Plus, you have a nice mine there. But everything else. Damn. You guys have just got the place. Here. There's an armor upgrade shop. Okay. Bone cutter. You got a little pig thing there. Okay, so the village actually goes all the way down, but you guys clearly have a little problem with uh, village not playing ball. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work the way it should, Al. I'll try and help you guys out here a little bit. How about this side? We just do something from here. Can you not, sir? It's not going to end well for you, by the way. I'm trying to build these guys a little stairway because they their village is a little messed up here. Sorry about your pathway, sir. Well, now you guys can at least get in here. Here, same thing. I think that's town center, yeah. But we'll leave that one there. Not really ideal, but you can kind of use this guy's thing here. I don't really want to ruin his nice little garden he's got it going. This is not going to work out the way I want it to work out, is it? Okay, just do that. There you go. So now we're in town centre. 
I almost feel like it should just build off there. But yeah, this feels a little better. Now at least the guys in this town can get down here. And they've got their little staircase here. And I'll even put a candle up for them. Now I can get to the animals. So you guys really got screwed here by the game. And weird design. Yeah. So, let's see what the rest of the village contains, because... Okay, I'm, I don't have solutions for this one. Water, maybe? That's a hell of a long drop. I'd love to help you guys with this one, but this is a little bit beyond me. Jeez. Like a one-way trip to hell. Yeah. There's... There is a solution here, but it's not an easy, quick solution. I'm here on exploration, not here to... Uh, but I would try and love to land in the water, but I know I'm going to screw it up and then just break my leg. So let's not do the stupid thing. <laughs> we still have more exploring to do. But yeah, they at least got one farmer who lives down here and he's got no way to get up there. I'm going to have to come back to these guys, even if I don't take over this village, just to get them sussed out. Creepy cave. I just don't want to be the poor guy who lives down here. He's basically sleeping in the woods. And yeah, this lava burnt everything away. But yeah, if I take over this village, we will definitely swap. Oh, he's got a house down here. Nice. Like a one solitary guy. He throws carrots up to the guys at the top or something. Well, okay. Look at that guy. Look at him. Chumming around on the ledge. So that thing is kind of built out there. That goes on. And this is apparently still part of the village. Because we're on a pathway. That is a massive village, by the way. So this goes all the way up there. And then further across on top of the hill. Wow. Okay. That's a big big border for a village usually you only find like small villages but now let's go look at the pretty village see who wins which one of the uh the two takes the cake here i don't know which one is going to be the winner here those guys have a pretty magnificent setup going on up there for them but these guys, on the other hand, they they do have cherry blossoms, so I know, since they've added it, it's, basic, it's probably the most favorite tree out of all trees, it says. But I quite like the swamp trees, too. I feel like the swamp trees are, when you actually use their wood, that red color is quite pretty. But, you know, just me. And my thing. Ooh. Okay, so you guys have got a dock that really needs to be expanded into that. <clears throat> uh, you guys got sunflowers, so I'll nab one of those for wherever I decide to live. Uh, you got a cartographer, so that's a bonus. <sighs> what else you have? The house, a cool little pawn thing around this guy's house I like that you guys get high points for creativity on this one and that some of your area is infected by that is kind of cool and you've got a dude who is hoarding bread no. No. 
got strange pits in your village. I don't know how I feel about that. Lots of farming going on. Lots and lots of farming. Look, geez, they got two horses too. Hey. And that guy lives up there. There's no one there. And I can see another house up there. So we're going to have to climb up and have a good old look at what's going on there. You guys have got an iron chest plate. So I have one. But I will take your obsidian. So I don't have to worry about obsidian. I'll take that too. I'll leave you guys with your bread. But this is a real... This is like the old school... Um, you can repair your stuff too. But I don't have any iron on me. But yeah, this reminds me of the old, old school blacksmiths that you used to pick up. This is another really big village, though. Bone cutter. What a big house. Hey, Malinchi, how you doing, brother? Welcome back to Game Lounge, man. Come on, keyboard. Work with me here. Say hello to my friend. There we go. Uh, apples and bread. So lots of apples and lots of bread around here. People definitely, there's farms everywhere. Yeah, this guy's got, got to go in here as well. Oh, wait, you guys have got more stuff? Um, I'll take everything else, unfortunately. Cool. Yeah, these guys, industry wise, they whip the uh, guys on the, the big hill. They have way better industry here. There's iron a nice location too. And you've got dripstone and lava back here. And there's another raider tower. But I suppose it's not surprising seeing there's so many villages in this one tight little area that you'd have multiple areas of raiding. I just want to go up here and see what buildings these guys actually have. Ew. Okay, so this is part of... Damn it, Mop. That freaked me out. I don't like when you guys just land on me. Okay, creepy noise from there. So this is still part of the village. I have to say, this guy's got a pretty nice view. Although, he... Wastes it by having it the wrong way. Uh, we've got a little farm down here. Um, I think I'm going to be in another one of these cases where, yeah, I'm going to have to help this guy. There you go, sir. Yeah, I feel like I've done my duty. So this is village walkway. But he should be able to get up here now. At least I'm assuming that's the guy who sleeps there. But there's another layer up. So this is still... You can see village up here. And we've got our first cherry blossom. But I can't get to the next piece of village. Which is apparently way further up. And Malinji, how are you doing, man? What's going on? Yeah, see, there's another guy up here. And his hut further, further up the food chain here, even. But I can't connect you guys to the lower village without doing some serious renovation here. But again, damn, nice place you guys got here. Although, how do you guys even get... Okay, you've got a little staircase back. We good, we good. So, you can just walk around here and go, boom. Welcome. Um, although, I actually want to take off... It's right here. Never mind. Uh, my, my farmer friend, you... You like to live dangerously, don't you? It's like, this is my tree, and I walk around all the time. Oh wait, 
The village is actually not done. This village just keeps getting better, by the way. But I seriously do feel like, ow, that and this needs to be connected somehow. Somebody needs to come and farm this junk. So let's build you guys something. There you go, look at that. It's not amazing, but now at least I can get to the house and go, sweet. Time to snooze. But, this village has a lot of surprises. I was definitely very happy to keep all the coolness in. Um, I'm going to keep whacking at stuff here and it's not going to help, is it? Okay. Uh, because that is even further up, so I'm going to have to cut a little more of a swathe, swathe up here. There we go. This guy, see, he has got it going. King of the freaking castle here, right? All your subjects down there, that guy on the tree. <laughs> I, I don't know, that, that man needs a hand. Um... Uh, this guy also needs a hand it's like seriously actually your your house scares me see there you go i've i've at least helped him let's just kind of like build around here no you don't that is a serious serious dick move that was absolutely unnecessary for you to do that yeah, let's just give this man a little bit of breathing room here. He stumbles out of his front door and he screws up. He is... He's permanently screwed. Ow. Yeah, I don't want to be so close to the edge. You guys are seriously uncool up here, though. I also feel like I want to shovel away that piece, so... You come off that piece, you're going to go all the way down. Okay, so this is still part of the village, because this is halfway up here. But I've never actually seen a village in a cherry blossom field. So, if you guys have seen a village in a cherry blossom field, I'd love to see some photos. You can come post it on the Discord. I've, I've, this is probably the most in there one I've seen. Yeah, I was too late to stop them from throwing stuff at me. Gupta, hello and welcome to the game lounge. How are you doing my friend? It's good to have you here with us. Hopefully I don't die. I feel like I might die and I don't want to come all the way back here to die. I'm just gonna go hide in that house for a minute. Yeah, this is the guy's house that I was fixing up. Yeah, I think I'm good. Ah, this is beautiful up here. Damn. I can hear things. I'm from India. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, my friend. That's awesome. You guys have good food. I'll tell you that much. I do like cooking some good Indian food. And yes. The things that I love in my life is Helgi, which is not here, gaming, and food, and a few other things, but those things seem to take up the majority of what I do and love. You creeper, you don't score so high on my love meter. Woo, no. No, thank, thank you. Okay. I do not need to die. I was just wanted to see if there was more, any more like random buildings around here. But I don't think there's much else than beautiful trees and lots of things that will not be happy seeing me. That's the, that's the feeling that I get up anyways is danger, danger, danger. But I need to get a little bit of this stuff so I can bury it back with me wherever I settle. 
You know about Gamer Fleet? No, Gamer Fleet, that doesn't ring a bell. Then again, it is late and I'm half asleep, so. <laughs> Tell me about Gamer Fleet, my friend. Did I get any? No. Bad. I don't want to destroy all this beautifulness. I'm just sort of wanting to chop a couple of chunklets off in the hope that I get. There we go. I just need one. Search it. Well. Ah! I didn't sleep. I oh, know. The sky demons are here. We're screwed. Uh, search it. Cool, man. Gamer fleet. I'll have to have a look at that. I have to sleep. The sky demons are up. And these guys do have an amazingly pretty place up here. Well, now the question is... Alright. The difficult... I do not want to deal with you either. The very difficult question here is... Do I stay where I am? Do... Oh, man. I have to deal with you guys. Aha, uh -huh, you fell off. No, 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 no. Oh. I want to have to rebuild that. Can I go to sleep now, please? Thank you. Do I stay here? Do I go to the other places? What do I do? And hopefully don't cause any more strife here. I have to fix up this now. Yeah, this is you guys. This is not my bad doing. I'm just chilling here and you guys are making holes in this beautiful place. Super uncool. Oh, man. Can you please not, sir? Oh, good. You're catching some fire, too. And, Gupta, what sort of games do you like playing, my friend? That's some primers back to this place. That's some stuff here as well. Okay, good. Well, that's not really what I want to do. The sad part here is the tree that they nuked didn't give... It basically is part of that tree there, so what I could possibly do is... Put that there, and put that there. There we go. They fixed their tree. But yeah, I still don't know who's the winner between this village and that village. Or even my village. I don't think my village will win, but... This is what I'm sort of now struggling with. Do I move up to one of these two sky villages? Do I stay where I am? I have questions. I have no good answer. Because these places are amazing, man. Though nobody's tending this horse either. You guys really need... Better management of your animals here. I don't have enough to finish that out. This is not going to be a good day if I keep having to do that. There's a llama there. Nice. <laughs> See how many times I can break my legs before I finally do myself in here. So... Yeah. That village has a really nice spread up there. These guys, they have a freaking village up there. They have much more industry here. I have to say, this is this village, industry-wise, hands down, win. Uh, and they have water down here because they take basically the whole site. And there's even a dude living out here, you know, so... They, they got to go in. These are really, really nice villages. 
Um, I still think the other one, maybe. I know it's definitely not as pretty. But they definitely have that height advantage going for them on that one. Which is nice. Oh, I got some more saplings. Nice. Other sapling. Singular. Um, there was always also this village up here, but yeah, I'm not worried about that. Those ones, yeah, that one especially, because if I build a village up here, I might as well have that village there. And have that sort of pre-construction, just so I can live, make it part of what we're doing. Then again, I kind of like our village right where it is. I think there's lots of potential, but that one... I'll have to think about that. I always wanted a mountaintop village. A really cool one. I know in our old village there's a couple of really spectacular places to live up high. Um, and we did find a really tall mountaintop one. Mosquitoes, can you guys just leave? I can feel you land on me. I'm not happy about that, by the way. Okay, this is the mountain that I need to scurry around. And can get home before the hungers get to me. Well, I'd have enough food, but yeah, too many accidents to have that. Ah, uh... oh, we still do have food. Never mind. Yummy. Okay. Good times, ahoy. Yeah, plenty of cherry blossom around this side piece. And that's what I think next week. I think we need to put Minecraft on another slot, so there's two slots a week. And I want to go and do exploration walks again. It was, truly was one of my favorite things of my old videos. And if you've never seen the old streams, go and have a look. There's a playlist. Um... No, it's not linked anywhere. You're just going to go onto the main channel. Have a look. There's a playlist there. Um, yeah. We had some really busy times. I had some really crazy stuff that blew up. But yeah. I did a couple of times where I just do like 5 or 10 or 20,000. I think one Saturday I did 50,000. Then in about four and a half hours. Because it's roughly... Um, it <sighs> yes, 10,000 blocks an hour. Like, this is especially good for it. If you get big stretches of water, it goes down about half. So you can do, if you sailed in a straight line, you could do about 20,000 blocks almost an hour. Uh, and obviously it will slow down to like a few thousand blocks an hour. If you get these sort of hills, because I generally don't go around them, I'll just climb them. What's up, G-Bro? How you doing, brother? Welcome back to the game lounge. It's good to see you. So, yeah. There's my little village. Out here on the flat areas. I was still thinking about that village in the sky, man. That place is cool. I'll, I'll stick to here for now. <clears throat> Maybe later on, I'll just get tired and go, screw it, we're going to go live there for a bit. This is a nice little village. And the nice part is all of this stuff is like stinking close to spawn. Oh, hello, sirs. I saw one of you have a trident, so I'm trying to move away from you as, as rapidly as possible. Not really in the mood for being mauled by one of them. Okay, we do need to do some more fishing because I need some stuff. But hey, here we are. We've got tons of guys. We've got a little marketplace here, which I like. <coughs> That's a cool village. They're all cool villages, but sometimes you go, you need a different cool village. But yeah, let's continue on kissing out this village and then we will make silly decisions about other villages. Okay, so that answers my other question. Which is, 
slabs can't be processed that way. Yeah, I, had a, I was wondering about that. I've never done it with a slab. If the slab's just going to screw me or not. Yeah, I'm going to put the slabage. I'll just take those and make stone slab. Okay. So you can build it half stone, but you can't stick these to it. So. Yeah, the the half stuff actually just made it look really cool as well. So that's kind of why I wanted that because it just made it look a little nicer. But there we are. We also need more cauldrons, but I don't have that much iron yet. There you go. So look at that. He doesn't seem amused by it. <sighs> You should be very happy about it. I've just given you cool stuff to mess around with. Uh, put that away. Put that away. I do want to kind of plant one or two of these down here. I still want to build a hill fortress there. So I, I've got like a thousand things I want to do here. There should be a little pond. This really needs to be a pond. Um, I need a piece of soil. There you go. I'll just grab a piece of soil from here. No. Yep. There. Beautiful. And you, flower. You flowers need to be transplanted here, all around. This is, will all be enclosed as a garden area. Also a good place to come and get all the dyes that you need from, which is usually why I make gardens. Garden zones, just so we can have all the flowers we need in one spot. Ah, so that's what that is. That is going to maybe have to move entrance to somewhere. This painful. And a sunflower. Of course. There we go. Beautiful. So, and I have some bone, actually. Okay. Yeah, so most of these things, if you hit them with bone meal, as I've learned, you get to make more. No! Oh, bloody hell. I heard it too late. We need to secure the garden area. Otherwise, we're going to have more unfortunate situations like this. Well, we can't have a nice place to live in here, game. Keep sending your creepy friends in to come and become nuclear here. Damn it. I want to make a nice garden zone and this one goes. No. Now we don't have enough soil, so that actually destroyed most of the soil. Right, let's go have a nap and then we'll come back to this because I think if we hang around, we're going to blow something else up. During the day, you guys are like real weird about not closing that door. But at night, you're like, yeah, well, there's like thousands of zombies outside. Just leave the damn door open. Who cares? Like, uh, me. Because I'm sleeping in the basement. If they rush from the top, uh, yeah. I'm going to have problems down there. All right, eh. So what? Yeah, I've got some dirt blockage here. I'm going to repair this place they destroyed. And then start loading water into it.
I will work, I suppose. I can always chop it up a little bit. Um, but let's get a bucket. So we've got our flowers. Let's replant our pretty red flowers here. Nothing else comes in here. I'm not gonna have to be a little more cautious about what I'm doing. Game is gonna load me up with the uh, the green hissing monstrosities that I do not want to deal with, and then yeah, get my legs blown off. So yeah, the farm looks about right. Hey, look, we got a little donkey up there. Give me a name tag. That was a cool... No, that's a horse, sorry. Call you Mr. Socks. Do I have a name tag? No, I fished out one. Mr. Socks would be cool. So, yeah, this is going to work perfectly here. I'll put that there. That spreads around quickly. This is my little forest zone. Seriously, I'm going to put some candles there, so... Uh, you don't have anything hiding in there or spawning in there during the day. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we need to make a castle. It kind of looks like a castle ruin up there. So maybe rebuild it. That's why you want to stay down here on the other hand, because that is very freaking pretty. I'm going to have to fill that up. That's all right. Yeah, I think we'll stay here. That, that mountaintop village, freaking perfect. If I am sick and tired of this place once I've built it up, then I might actually move out there and just go live up there for a bit. That village is just, man, spot on. Even the guys on the other side and their uh, cherry blossom biome spot, that's pretty cool. Man. Yeah, this is coming along very quickly and nicely. Okay, that's all sussed out and sweet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is easy. It's not easy as like the other map where I dug the the game basically designed or spawned a river between these cliffs and then patches that just didn't spawn river at all so i dug a river through there and it took a few hours to get it done and i made the water basically two levels thick there we go look how pretty that is um but i made it too thick two two blocks deep but yeah, getting some of that water to work and be perfectly still was wild. I got it at the end, but I thought I was going to lose my mind at the end too, so. <laughs> okay, that's, you know, we have a nice little garden thing here. So I'm going to build that out around here. I'm going to swing wide. I might fill up this piece. We're definitely going to cover over this. I'll make that side the entrance to come in here. And then we will have this little peaceful garden. And hopefully no unpeaceful things hanging around in it. I do know that our uh, unfortunate hissing friends definitely would uh, come and ruin the peace here. If they got half a chance. So I'm going to have to make sure that I deal with them. Do not need them destroying my, my handiwork. Okay, so let's grab, we got four seeds. We got one plant that didn't grow, but it's all right. Nice. Hmm, that would be another nice thing there in my 
my production pit, shall we call it. That's where all the industry will be. I need to make a little bakery down there. That little bakery out here could be nice too. Yeah, this is coming along nicely now. This the seeds is doubling out and we have even more seeds, so this is just beautiful. That is perfect. Ah good, the potatoes are coming along too. Basically two rows of potato. A row of carrot and then a row of beetroot. Because these ones I won't use as much. There's obviously uses for them, don't get me wrong, but they're not that high on my list. Let's just get these ones. L Gamer DC2, hello and welcome. How are you doing? It is good to have you here on the Game Lounge with us. Oh yeah, yeah, that was actually nice tall. One of these guys. This one firstly dropped there and then it vined out and dropped this side, which is why there's two spaces in between them so they can kind of flail around and drop their ginormous painful fruits whichever way they feel like without really screwing me in the process so I like that yeah. nice uh, I can leave this place in peace okay I need what do I need? A cauldron, so I'm going to need more iron. I know that much. I do need... Loom. Well, if I build a loom, then I can put it down in my pit. Call me the guy with the weird name. Sub, weird name guy. What is going on? Let's make some bread. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, that is the thing that I'm trying to build. I might need wood for it. This is all items. I know if I build barrels, then my guys will swim. That's how I got them across the water last time, is building barrels. I'm not looking for a barrel. Not that much. I need wooden planks, and then I can apparently build those. Uh, a barrel. So, yeah, it's planks and then slabs. So, if we build, like, one set of wooden slabs, then I should be able to build... One of those. There we go. Now it's here. So we need just slabs, more slabbage. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So let's get that up there, down there, you down here. I bought one in the village as well. I just want to build this one in here for myself. But now I have to make sure that that door stays shut. Because otherwise, yeah, we're gonna have problems. The obvious there's always somebody who's gonna want to trample through here and get in there. Nice. Yeah, and I can get the extras in there. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be doing that, but it's all right. One of those things. They, they already popped out another set. 
And Dude with the weird name, what are you up to? Playing some games, trying out some new stuff, just chilling. What's going on, brother? I need to get away from here before anything bad happens. And yeah, I think if we build a loom, it would be cool to have a loom. Like I said, we'll build this out as like different little mini workshops down here. So like this one will have I'll build some stuff here so I can do some metal working down there. Um, almost think this pit needs to be dug one further down. Like this whole area. Basically from here, strip it back one. And possibly fill up this layer one further. And then just have a little spot for workshops in here. Build it into the natural. Put a roof up, like, if you build something, you can build a roof up here. So, if this workshop goes to here, and make, like, the next workshop here. So just to sort of, like, three deep, three wide. One, two, three. One goes to four, really, but. This one, that one's there, that is the wall partition, so. It must have to be a corner shop, or just a little skinny three shop. That'll work too, though. Uh, but yeah, make like a, I don't know, loom and stuff in here. Uh, that is also not something that should occur. That is something that'll go bad. Put that up there. Yep. I already hear it's badness floating around here. Uh, this one is... From this point, it is one, two, three, back. From this point, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, and to add to that, we'll just add a little roof hitch system back on here. And this can be the baker area, uh, but, you know, get the stuff around the outside, get that all going. Um, also think we need one of these storage boxes. Let me just put that literally right there. Mainly, I'm thinking of putting it there so that one of the villagers will go up to it and start using it for something. Uh, you villagers need to do your things out there. Wow, that dude is going spastic. I'm going to have to build another garden section just for these guys. Um... Get another one here, maybe. I'm not exactly where I want to. No, don't blow. I need to go to sleep. This is my own fault. Can't be awake at night. I don't have a fence line around this place and everything lit, so I'm just gonna have to kind of remember to sleep. And I can come and repair the damage here. Beautiful village just ruined. All right. Okay, so we need to kind of move. Yeah, I'm trying to build up here. Do it, you move? Come on. Thank you. Don't want to be rude to the villagers now. But that dude was kind of standing there. There you go. Partially restored anyway. Um, I'll deal with that in a minute. Yeah, I really want there to be more farmers there, but I think the next... 
major task we have to uh, take on is beds. Most of these houses can take double beds, so all we need to build a hall so we can get more villagers going here. Most of these houses, like this one could, again, if you take that out, you can put three beds in there, really. Um, but I think we're going to have to build a hall. I usually just take one of the houses and extend it into a hall. At this place, I'll just build out here, but we will. So there's multiple designs here, right? There's the cobblestone with wood on the outside. So let's pick up all the things we need. We've got wood. And let's take the stone. Come on. Cute. That can go up there. That can go up there. You and you can mess off that way. You want to extend one of these houses out, I think, and just make a boarding house so I can get more villagers going. Those. Those ones are just built. That one's built out of stone. Like different cut stone. This one is just built up a wood house. Hmm. I need to find a spot for a long house. A nice spot down here, but I kind of don't want to have near that thing. Although this is not really the center of town, and this should actually be in the garden. Mm. I'm gonna build this as part of the village. But that goes there, so we technically have this spot up here to build a house. Um. I can pull the pillars with that and just make wood for the outside. So let's do that. So uh, that's two. Five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six, really. Go six up. Two, three, four, five, six. And we'll come out to say here. Down, down. I want to make this too wildly big, so let's, yeah, let's go one, two. Four, five, six. Uh, then we need an odd number, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven could work. Eight, nine. That could work probably even better. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we have to, we can always build it up even more. And we need a hell of a lot of wood. Have some dirt here. Probably end up digging out the bottom anyway and put wood flooring on it. I'll make a try. Do something nice for them, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you look at these places, they all go one step up and then they have a flooring, so we'll basically do the same then one up into flooring. But I'm going to need a little bit of help here with some of this stuff. Cut some of this out from back here. Uh, 
Sorry, kitty. Nice. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. We're not doing anything else. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. Never mind. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen across. We'll take one out of the middle is fourteen or seven either way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is there. Eight. Seven. Either side. But eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So you can basically make Three doors or a double door, so you split it that way. So I think what we'll need to do is maybe like a cobblestone bottom. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Supposed to be odd. One short here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll just get these back. That was not too good. There we go. I don't have that. Beautiful. And we're screwed again. Okay, so now I'm going to need wood. And this is going to be the door. So, like I said, we can either put one in the middle and then have a door up there. Up there. And I think that's going to be the way to go. I know they do it in different ways, but I think that would be the best one, is to have two doors sitting next to each other. I'll put some automatic steps on there. Need to get some food going here, too. No, 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 no. Can I have a, can I have a sandwich? A bread sandwich. Because there's only bread on this sandwich. Okay. We need stone and we need a door. We need wood. Don't have much wood, so we're going to go and chop things up. How's my lava production coming along? Incredibly bloody slowly. <laughs> That's apparently the right answer. Okay, um, these max are about to. Say good night as well. Okay. Definitely think I've now killed a part of the tree because some of the stuff is starting to just fall back. So, let's get that done. Nice. 55 blocks. I would say it's going to do the trick, but that would probably be a lie. Um, I need pressure plates. Pressure plates, pressure plates. Three pressure plates. Well, let's get those. Oh, actually. Actually, that's a lie. I need Four pressure plates. They can close the door from the inside and the outside. Also, kind of dark around here. Need more stone. But, yeah. The they will sit on there, so uh, I might as well start filling the inside of wood. Nice. Yeah. Um, 
we don't have more cobblestone. But deep slated cobblestone. This is gonna have to work. We'll make something special though. There we go. Okay, so we got we got that guy around the side, one door there, one door here. Uh we don't have enough stone to do anything else either. Uh we've got the slab, so that actually should be okay too. That actually works perfectly. Look at that. It's a good day to be alive. Cool. Um, you can come up here. You can go down there. You will just stack up. And then you have your stack in there. Let me go. Boom. I will take one of you guys. And um, you up there and put you there. Boom! Up we go. Uh, I do think we need, like, a, there's a glass tower up here. Yeah, it's gonna work. And then we fill this place with beds, and everybody will be happy. And I need to get back to my house before something else happens. I feel like there's been too many minor incidences around here and it's kind of screwed up the villagers because none of them has even come down here and stolen my bed normally you'd have like six of them in here going hey that's my bed now so that's not happening something bad has happened somewhere along here so we get some stone then we'll get some more wood and then we'll get some nice places oh yes Yes, 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 yes. That looks good. Yeah, I just mined into here. Are you serious? Are you are you seriously, like, serious, serious? You didn't just lose your mind. I think you lost your mind, man. Check your recipe. You have collected new weird stuff. New weird stuff worth. What am I collecting here, again? Alright, all right, cool. We can build stuff, but... Not really what I need, but... I'll grab a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to need a fair bit of stone, to be honest. I would like to make a stone generator, but I'm still waiting for the lava to be more accommodating to what I'm trying to do. Okay, that will work for now. Thank you. Need to build an underground village too. I should grow underground. I don't always do, but they should. Okay, so the wooden ones has stone pillarage in it. So those ones you got two layers and then a stone thing. So if we go two layers of stone and windows with level two, so one, one, two. One, two, three. So that's basically in line with the top of the door, really. Besides, this house is probably going to get chopped off. Or it's going to turn and be turned into a two story thing. But we can basically build something like this, maybe. Come on. Because that's three up, so if you look at it, I don't really, yeah, see, it is, is in line with the size of that, so that's, that is actually correct. I usually just don't do it at the front.
We'll do it on the front. We'll do it on the sides too. Uh, we do. We'll do it like this, and then we'll just knock holes into where we want the windows to be. Okay, that's there. Last one comes along here. And we need a little bit more stone. Need a droplet more stone. We also need to still build the roof, so we actually need a lot. A lot of a lot of a lot. But it's right. This is a cool project to work on. It's just a little something something to ensure that the villagers actually expand because I want tons of villagers. And I've done it before where we pulled like a hundred beds and I just kind of fill up the place. I think I should do that as a challenge. Hmm. How many villagers can you have in one village? That's going to be a challenge. I'm going to have to do a video on that. How many villagers can you squeeze into a village? There we go. Now we have stone for days. Now we need to go chop down some more trees. Hmm. Yeah. No, I think that's going to be a good one. How many villagers can you squeeze into a village? How many villagers can you have? And I... Yeah, don't mind. I'm not going to continue that one. I feel somebody's going to rob off my idea. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a, one of my challenge videos. Because I feel like doing some more Minecraft stuff again. Yeah. There's not nearly enough trees. But I'm going to have to stop... I don't have any mud. So I need to start getting some mud and building into the trees so that I can find all the branches growing in here and chop them out. I specifically planted this to turn into a tree jungle maze. And has done that basically we still need to chop off this part as well so let's just see how many we got 52 that wouldn't even be enough to finish off the bottom so uh, 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 let's get a stone axe going stone and we've got wood so that is good enough for now That is basically the max level we're going to achieve with this thing. I have to get some way of getting further up into there. Trees are running out from everywhere. So, number 32. That is, that is good. That is very good, but it's nowhere near enough. No, we're bloody near enough. I need to do some challenge stuff again. I don't know, last time, 100 days on an abandoned island. Island survival, 100 days. That was kind of work it. I only made it a few days at a time before I got drowned, died from hunger, fell in a pit and died. Yeah. Go for it. Go fun it all. Okay, so let's go start doing up our little extended house here so we can start getting some guys in. The thing if you look, so the side where the window where the roof starts is free. Those pillars are actually gonna get chopped down. Although I think at this rate, this place could actually be a two story. So then I can get more beds and stuff in here. Uh, probably put some workshop style things in here as well. Just so we give our villagers jobs. And I know we're going to have to get another farm up. I would open up my farm to them. But I don't trust them not to screw it up. Because the thing that most of them do is rip everything out that isn't potatoes. And just plant potatoes. 
as much as I love potatoes, I also like to have a lot of different veg in my gardens. But the villagers don't seem to appreciate that sentiment. It's potato or nothing. It's a it's potato or you're a heretic. So I don't want to be a heretic and I don't want my whole place burnt down because I didn't have enough potatoes in my gardens. Hmm. Can I build a vertical, small vertical garden section? Kind of like what I was building out here. I think I can actually build a little vegetable tower. Yeah, we'll build a veggie tower. I'm all down for that. Do, 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 do. Not quite what I was trying to do, but fair enough. I ain't really gonna have to stop climbing up here to get my wood out. Because we still need to do the walls as well, by the way. Hey. Hmm. I need to get up in those trees. And. The wheel is the easiest way to climb. But I was gonna. Bold with the tree logs. Yay! Now we're up here in the sky. Now I can start chopping through more of this. Suppose if I could find. Is it dark oak or spruce? I think it was spruce. Do some more things. Okay, that's destroyed. Okay, we are getting into my time here, so I'm hoping if I stay in here that it will at least reduce the chance of me getting destroyed by our friendly neighborhood of green hissers. I don't really want to get blown up again. Also be nice if I had a candle. It's getting kind of dark in this tree. Didn't expect that to go up so high. Yeah, let's just break through here and make some some breathing space for ourselves. Yeah, there's plenty of things down there. It's not making me feel happy and positive. It did do a bloody good job of turning this thing into this mini jungle for ourselves. The tr these sort of Growth jungles, as we shall call them, is uh, is definitely the way to go. I'm just trying to see if there's any hidden wood. There's nothing worse than when you've chopped down a whole forest that you've grown. I need to find out that you missed some wood. That's what I feel is going to happen here. You see, these places go like chunks of wood in here but yeah i'll chop it out with my hand because i kind of want to get this done and then get on with it rather than keep coming back i just want the new set of trees to actually take over and grow here an air gun in here. I got beat on it with a stick. 
Okay, that looks like another tree section here. This is why you need to be careful about just jumping out and going, I'm done. And you find that you cut out one of the trees, but if one of these stay alive, because they intertangle with each other, they will keep the leaves alive as well. But we're up at 39 blocks of wood, logs of wood. Wooden luggage, um, and then there's obviously so that side, and the stuff is just falling straight through that I just didn't bother getting. Uh, spider, my man, my friend, the legend and champion. The hell are you doing down there, by the way? Man, I really want to just pull <laughs> place I can pull an axe. Yeah. We're going to come out of this tree shortly. Not because I want to, just due to how things are going. We'll come back to this. We'll, we'll leave that for now. <laughs> you get stuck in there. There's really nothing there to get stuck on, sir. Okay, good. Hopefully nobody gets zombified. Hey. He seems to like the horse, the horse seems to like him. We're happy. And we've got tons. Absolutely freaking tonnage of wood, so we should be okay. Except when the enderman is spazzing around in there. Dude, seriously, you need to get Nobody real interested in having your spasticness around here. So, uh, let's just, might as well do this as well. I think I saw a creeper down there. Never mind, I saw two creepers down there. Um... I don't really want you guys coming in here. And I don't have glass on me, so. For now, just for now, we'll just put a third door in here. Oh, that. That does not help. That is as useful as a wet fart. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think he's trying to teleport him and kill us. Well, there's some weird cat out there too. Ooh, okay, I think it's going to teleport into me and I'm just going to freak out. Please don't teleport into me, man. I don't want to merge with you. He's still out there. Okay, apparently I really upset at this dude somehow. I don't know. How the hell are you even out? Oh, it's overcast. Yeah. Never mind. No, you don't. And then you try to steal my blocks. Your friends aren't cool, by the way. Okay. Almost done with that part of the leveling. Yeah, now I'm going to make some windows. Um, every two blocks, we can go two and the make three. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three and six. One, two, three, and then yeah. Well, 
So I would say put one back here, and then I knock some of the other ones out. This I'd almost want like a fence rather than a solid glass. I think this view should be mostly unobstructed actually. Yeah, I'm gonna try this on for size anyway. No, this is not quite what we had in mind at the original. Uh, let's just get a workbench, a crafting table, whatever. Let's get something in here so I can follow my silly idea. This way, uh, a gate. I need six of those. One, two, three. Fine, one, two, three, one, two, that's the center part. You really do lose that beautiful center window there. But it kind of works on the other way as well, so we'll do that, and the front will leave two, and then chop two, and then I'll chop out another one and another one right well let's just chop all of it out actually I believe that one there is like the main support piece well we can actually chop let's see what it looks like if i chop this one out it's gonna be the easiest way as you can kind of see through there so i'm i'm happy enough with that so yeah, all the stone edge is, was basically unnecessary, but we will need some extra. It's really no problem at all. Back part, I want to do a little different though. There's a lot of wall there to cover. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, fourteen, seven. So I'm assuming I just have to find this one. Okay. We're going to put glass onto that. Um, glass pane should work because these are all glass panes. Uh, where did I toss the glass? Mm, I might need to go get some more sand. Okay. So need six blocks to make panes and they can color it as well i don't know if i actually would want to color the glass i like the idea but i don't know if i'm really really keen to go that far it's better i get around there Yeah, I think will change. So let's just try something here first. Let's just pull it out. All right, yeah, so it does do that, which looks pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, so those things do extend out onto that side. So that's fine. Uh, we need to get sand, but I don't want to just get sand from anywhere and make a mess of what we're doing, so... We'll travel a little bit to get some sand. I'm trying to think how much sand I need, because I'm probably going to have to do windows on the second level too. I want to make a two-story. I should just build an apartment building there. Uh, but I will leave that actually for a video. Uh, 
I think that will make a great video on its own. There will be something I could just film. I've got an idea. It's not for this. It's just a wacky idea. I don't want to use all the sand either. Hmm. Yeah. No, I like that idea. I we'll have to remember that. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be something really, really cool. That's going to be a cool idea. I'll have to do a video on that. Well, that's an even other cool idea that I have. Hey, W and Equal. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the Game Lounge. Good to have you here with us. You got good news. What's the good news, man? Yeah, I need to go for a nap before I get blown up and I don't want my garden damaged any further. I'm trying to save that tree. I don't want it messed up. The 292. Yep. Grey tank. And nap time. Uh. Yeah. So, last time, so we need you in here, fix that up, and take that out, and where are you out there with that, got another one sand up here, so, I'm kind of in need of this stuff to come out so I can build that, I've got wood so I can build stairs, but I might build stone stairs too. I can build like a little spiral stick if you need it. Bigger. Huh. Oh, I feel man. Hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, 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 that would be a good idea to do that. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here thinking I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to do in here. This is good. I want to spend more time playing this than anything else. Hmm. That could work nicely. Huh. I'm going to have to add a bit more wood to this. Huh. Do not want this to not work. But for now, we can start making panes out of what we have, so we can pull up the rest of this. You can see it's not quite there, and I'm going to need some blocks of the central chunk. Uh, might as well finish off the front of the house and the side, and we can start doing the back as well. Okay, yeah, beautiful. So. Now the question is, if I do this, 
if I should build it right in the middle. I think I should, because I should have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine means eight is four. Yeah, so one, two, three. One, two, five. There we go. Now it's equal. And now I just need to count the sides. So it's 15, so you need to do seven. So it might not. Well, actually, if it's there, it's in the center. That is the central point of this place. So if I build a staircase around it, that would be cool. So, um, let's do some cobble staircases. Put that one there so you can climb up. And up to that side. Um, I don't have soil. I really kind of need soil. It just makes it such a quicker way to build stuff. Uh, that's there, that's there. Nice. Yeah, now I've got enough soil to finish off my staircase. That is a little dodgy, isn't it? We'll have to make a nice outline around here so we can do our thing. Yeah, so one for you, and you go here. I wonder if I should build like flat and then out this side. So you can have this up here. Like flat plates and then start here again. Go up to the next level. So this one would then require that there. that go there yeah I think that gives me a level because then I can build over flooring onto that I think the flooring would be onto that to be honest yeah so we can input stone slabbage over here as an example but I don't have stone slab uh, stone, cobblestone slab, okay, there, 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 up, up, those I have to turn again, but I don't think I want to turn it again, I think I just want to pull it from here, and then the roof will come, and I might expand it up, yeah, two and two works perfectly well, so, I think we can just have that there. We'll figure out the roof and what it needs to be when we get to it. In my humble opinion about that one. I'm trying to build around the uh, this mess, so that and that and that can come out. Beautiful. Could do that, it would look even better, but for now that is fine. What I do need though is stuff that I probably don't have on me, not enough charcoal on me. Because to make what I want, I need. So I need oak wood, not planks, just wood charcoal. See if there's some stuff laying around. Hey, Boosted, how you doing, brother? Welcome back to Gun Launch. It's good to see you, man.
And this should have enough for another stone axe. Yep, indeedy I do. How you been, man? It's good to see you. Okay, beautiful. So, I have... Nice, that's done too, so I can make a stone generator in there somewhere too. I still need a little bit of stuff for the boss, the boss. Um, this side. I need charcoal. Do I have another piece? No. Wait for this to be done, and I'll do that. Hey, K9, how you doing, brother? Welcome back to the lounge. It's good to see you. Yeah, let's wait for this thing to thrive through. And then take four pieces. And I can always get what I need. So I need just one to start with. It's always good to have a bit of spare hanging around. But there we go. Campfire completed. Okay. But that is the fireplace. Now I'll just put it on top. I was thinking about digging it in to the ground, but I think on top of this work. And that will then go up, up, and into the roof. Gonna Doing good. Just got new Wi-Fi today. Very awesome, man. Very, very good news. Yeah, so that works. You don't, can't fall off, and then you're up here in the sky doing bad things. So we are definitely going to have to chop more wood because we are now short. Obviously, if you fall off here, you're going to fall straight into the fire pit, so <laughs> it's slightly safe. Don't do anything stupid, or you might end up in the fire pit. That's the best advice I can basically give you. Just don't play in the fire pit. Yeah, so as you could have basically another landing coming down there. And then have this. So if that happens, then it's weird. This will work. This, this is fine. This is good. Uh, wood. But for now, it's sleep time. Which very, very nice, man. Yeah, there we go. Nap time is over. That was tree chop time. So we need enough to build the floor, then put another two, two layers around the outer edge. Another angry enderman. Can you get away from my farm there, please, sir? I don't need you robbing off with bits of... Rubbing off of bits of anything or hanging around assaulting me. Look at these guys. There's like just tons of them here. Sir, no. That's mine. Leave it alone. Put it back where you found it. Put it back where you found it. Yeah, I'm coming for you too. I'm assuming, like you're other friend there you just gonna take bits of my beautiful village yeah there you go you see that unnecessary to destroy my stairways here I think I'm actually trying to grow grass up here too well, that's coming along beautifully down there yay now that we've uh, suffered the first assault 
Let's get some more wood. I want that village part done, and I want to start building beds. I do need to get a sheep pen going, because it's going to be the easiest way, really, to kind of pen them all in and do what I need to do. But I'm willing to uh, just let it be for now, just finish the house. <sighs> yeah. I definitely do with a nap myself. Thirty two blocks. Let's turn this into something more useful for myself. Yeah, got all the planks that I'm possibly going to need, so let's go and fix this up. This is going well, so the lava generator can. Lava generator could really go in there. Just <laughs> guys, I get out of the way. I was going to mow a hole in there so they can get in and out, but I don't think that's going to work. Or at least not stopping them from getting stuck in places they shouldn't get stuck, but... One might always be hopeful. So we're building this out of solid wood blocks here. As long as the fire doesn't spread, then we're good. I'm gonna need some lanterns and candles and stuff in here. Oh, this is gonna be very, very dark. Though, yeah, I suppose I wasn't always thinking about that. Well, there you go. Now we have our very nice spot there, and now we need to build this up a little bit. Although, I wasted all my stone on making stairs. You can basically build the outer road so you can get an idea of what it should look like, which is... Look at the other one's probably two. Two and one. Okay. This is gonna look nice. Well, that's where the window should technically be, I think. We just go and look at these ones here. So that's where the window should be. So that one actually is the wrong way to build it. It should be above this level is where the next one is. So do we, we still have one. This will basically be glassed up to here, but clearly we don't have enough glass to glass the whole thing. So. There you go. I don't really want to use the grass block for this, so need more stone and then we can finish this section off up here. Like outside, lawn just keeps growing, getting longer and nastier. So, 
stone generator. That's really what I need to focus on. I actually have obsidian too. That would be perfect. Yeah, let's get the stone generator built into that hole that I've created. Got the bucket, got lava, need a piece of obsidian. I'm going to build it into that secondary hole that I dug as a workshop. So, where? There she is. One piece of obsidian, thank you. Yeah, so I want to do it similar to that thing where what you're building with is down here. <clears throat> and it just drops away, so. Um, where Obsidian thing can sit basically there. So, lava can come in from that side and then float into, we'll go around in the front of it, really. This can sit at the back. Yeah, it could work. But it could be in here as well, so it looks cool. That goes down there, so we will have basically there and there. Yeah, it's gonna have to sit further back, I think. Oh, this. Well, I can't move it now, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, so this is where the mining will occur. It's right on that section there. So if we mine through this. Left that there. We'll have the water coming on this side. And then we need to build. Basically have lava coming. Through these two chunks. Yeah, so we'll basically build it so that the that sits there. Build this so it sticks out. It looks kind of cool, though. Really need this thing to stick right over the but Although you have these, you do have a chunk that off the side of the wall. So this thing is technically four wide, like I said. It's three, and then one sticks over. Uh, yeah, let's just do it like this, it'll be alright for now. No stone. Uh, well, this is going to get used then. You. You, and we need to start grabbing lava and drumming, just running it through here. But we need to make sure, before we do anything silly... That is there, and then we can do water first. So, there we go. Water is here, and there's plenty of water naturally spawning down that side. But we need... Ooh, I, when I do that, you're going to be weird. Put this here. It's fine. And um, it's flooded with lava. Next best thing we can do. We'll, we'll make this so that there's three things of lava so it looks cool. But for now, that will just have to do. Actually, it seems like I'm going to have to do this one foot back. Uh, yeah, we'll dig that hole there. Put this here. See what happens. Okay, it goes to the wrong spot. So the water cannot be up there. The water needs to be down there. So it's a little less aggressive. And then I need to block this off again too. So do that. This. Ah! Of course. 
<laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> okay, that got me. That got me. Not gonna lie. Uh, the water is still flying too strong to do exactly what I need, so I'm gonna have to. Let's play out, fly out from there. Okay, um, do I have other stone? Uh, I got pumpkins, but I don't think pumpkins is gonna quite cut the mustard here. Oh, this might be. Okay, that's alright. That's not really smart either, but it works well enough. Okay. So that might still be too much. There we go. And then it kills it again. Damn it. Well, I suppose I can have it come all the way out here. That was too far, and that's too dangerous with that junk. I really don't like that. I don't like being so close to that thing either. That really doesn't feel good. That, that looks about right. It needs to be a very shallow flow that comes out. That still screws me. And that still scares me. Yeah. Okay. That is what I needed. Don't fly over it, please. I do not need that tiny disaster on my hands on top of everything else that's going on here. I can feel the game wanting to possibly just push that in there. See what happens. Okay, so the pit is done. Um, Now okay. oh, the fun begins. Yeah, this is the way to go. Yeah, the long usually the longer you go, the faster it gets. It's ridiculous fast actually at one stage. Even when you lose a few bits into the fire pit itself. Yeah, I still need a fair bit there. But yeah, that's done. Uh, while we were doodling around there, it didn't occur to me that it's bloody night time again. And I need to get out of the way so that I don't die. I really, 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 really do not want to get caught out there with a creeper in that hole. That lava is going to splash somewhere, and I do not want it on me. That's all I really have to say about that, is I don't really want it on me. Yeah, we've got two blocks as well, which I think are actually going to work well for the center part. Nice. Take the bucket out. Two blocks. Okay. So now we have some stone edge. Basically, from this point on, we can basically have a build up. This will be the roof level. That is one, 
two, and three here. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. One, two, three. It's going to be a little shorter than the other ones on the bottom level, but this works out quite nicely. Okay, so first things first is let's finish off that top level. Yeah, let's run out again. Uh, we need to make some more of those. Yeah, let's not fall in the fire pit, please. That is going to ruin everything if we fall in that fire pit. Uh, that was on that side, that's fine. There, there. And there, and there. And we actually need one more. Kind of sucks. I don't really want to build that many. Yeah, there we go. We can always pop a piece out there and have it a muddle. Weeb, Weeby Craft, hello and welcome to the Game Lounge. It's good to have you here. How are you doing, my friend? So, yeah. Um, some of this, I suppose, I can use up here as a fence line to not fall down there. I still don't know if I want to go with that or wood. Maybe like corner posts maybe there we go i'm gonna have wooden posts in the middle just so you don't accidentally go straight into the fire pit i'm not going to demonstrate it because <laughs> i don't want to fall in the fire pit i've had enough unfortunate accidents for one day out here but let's go chop some trees down and weavy what you're up to what's kicking in your world Site 10k subs channel. I wonder if you want it. That was pretty cool, man. I absolutely don't know what I would do with your channel, brother. That's a very kind thing to offer. I would love to have 10,000 subs. That's for sure. I don't know what I would do with it. Yeah, 10,000 subs. That is some serious work to get that much people on there. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Make some blankets, and then I need to make axe. I need to take stone out of the way, put that down there. Nice. Okay, where is more wood? I can't believe it's just these things sticking up into the sky. This is my main challenge, 230k subs. Wow, man. That is amazing to have that many subs. Absolute congratulations to get that much. I can't wait till I get that much, but man. That is some, <laughs> some serious sub edge there. Okay, let's get this done up there first. Uh, yeah, but we will need some fencing, but I'm not 100% worried about that yet. Just get this going. Trixes, hello and welcome to the game launch. It's good to have you here. How are you doing, my friend? Okay. Yeah, it's not quite equal up there, but that's fine. Just do 
That's first. Also gonna need to get some more glass. Okay, beautiful. So, now that I'm not in danger of jumping into that thing right away. Uh, ten fences. Ten fences should be enough. Yeah, up here, up here. Um, I suppose we could put another, the other singular stone pillar right there. There you go. That there. Put in place there. Hmm. I was hoping that would actually connect. But now you can't really screw it up. So, there you go. And you, no, you can't walk. Okay, you can walk between it. That is ridiculously dangerous. It looks cool, but that is just kind of a dumb idea. It's not a dumb idea. Let's rephrase. It's a great idea that doesn't work. That is going to lead me to walking straight into that fire no we just need to we'll just do it with wood that is safer this i will i will find another use for it there we go no no accidental fire walking it really should connect Hmm, true. Because I still need to make a channel or do something where I can do some vlogs and lifestyle stuff. Because people have been asking me a lot about that, actually. I suppose I should oblige and do something like it. Yeah, there we go. That's up to there. And Trix, what is you up to, my friend? Yeah. Nice. One looked almost too big there. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. Now we need to start building a roof. And... Yeah, roof building with steps is not fun. It always gets weird. Um, let's get some blankets going. Get 40 steps here, and then we'll see what we can do. Do Let's get this build up onto there, and let's see what I can do. Because I actually have ones that drop a little further down, and then that we can fill up there. So, can we can this thing just normal? Nice. fall off that's right on top of that I'm trying to make it look like it somewhat belongs here how's your day been it's been pretty good man it's been pretty good got a lot of stuff done today not just gaming had a good session on SnowRunner this morning. It's been a while since I played SnowRunner, but it was a good session to actually get back into it. Still messing around on Alaska, and then, yeah, got a bit of rest. Made some food. Actually made brownies today, so got... Chocolate, so it's... Fudgy Double Choc Macadamia brownies uh, no this is where it's going to get funky is this going to work or is this going to be should work I put it there yeah you usually only have to do it in one corner what I remembered yeah I want to need for everything else turn to this ow so yeah it's been a good day all in all plus it's minecraft day for me right at the end of the day so 
That makes it even better. It's always good times. Especially when I have something to actually... That I want to achieve in Minecraft. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise it can be a little... A little boring, a little weird. If you just have nothing that you want to do. I didn't start off tonight doing this. I just wanted to explore and... Do a bit more building in this new village. And so far... Yeah, we came up with some crazy ideas, so... Happy, happy days. I also think I want this to stick one over, so... Stick my neck one over. I have to go and do it on this side too. Let me fall. Thank you, Gav. Okay, so do we have we still have four planks left? That will work for now, and let's go this side. And what have you been up to, Trix? Anything exciting? Any new game grinds? I know there's a lot of Halloween stuff going on. No War Thunder is just wrapping up with the Call of the Dragon for the New Year stuff. And I know on Fallout 76 that the Helvetia thing is on again, which I actually love. And this year is actually the first year I haven't been taking part of it. I might actually do some tomorrow. Be sad, I've done it. This would be the third year I would have. Yeah, I think this would be the third year. But yeah, I kind of stopped playing it. Although I do enjoy playing it. But. Uh, out of stairs. I did stream at it a few times, but I don't know. That thing is cursed on my channel. Every time I stream. Or upload any videos of Fallout 76. I <laughs> start losing subs. I've done this. I think it's three or four times now. Different periods. Uh, just you know. Give it a whack. Because I've got a lot of people who play the game. And talk to me about it. Play it. Try it. And then they just go. Nope. Damn fire. That thing literally. Like there was like a spark. That fell right in front of the bed. I want to come back here and my bed's going to be burnt away. Alright, I need to make... Ugh, let's make a steel... Oh, iron, sorry, axe. And I'm going to see how much of that move. Tree's going to be chopped. So that's coming along nicely. Might as well grab my bucket. Doesn't increase or decrease the flow down there. That's good. No, at least I know it's not going to flood and cause any problems. On the other hand... I need to still clear up this forest. Because all of the stuff that I need is, again, <clears throat> up in the sky. Yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, and yeah, there's still lots of logs sitting in here, so shave off a little bit of this tree and try and expose some of this so we can get it out. And then get some new forest growing in here. Okay, this is where we were last time chopping before things fell through for me. 
Mainly me falling literally through the damn thing. Okay, and okay, we've got more out here, and I've got some chunklets over there. <clears throat> Let's see if we can clear this up. definitely some serious amount of logs in this zone so we'll just dig down onto it and see if we can get all of this out yeah this is where the forest is there's more bits out there jeez it's a good way to make you know you find your forest and have it grow into each other because it always throws out tons more wood than just a single straight stick yeah well the big hope is, is that it's not like bits that i missed ow That was on a cool game. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's right. This one can be chopped from down here. Nice catch. This piece here is pretty thick. My luck is just like, yeah. Stuff just outside of my reach, but it's alright, we can get up a little higher and start chopping into it again. Oh, those are just pre-cut pieces, nice. Okay, I think we basically cleared off just about everything in this forest. I have to wait for the next load of trees to take its space here. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I still feel like there's going to be something in there. Usually is. There's always one singular little bit of wood. Did you miss? <clears throat> when it miss uh, maintains and sustains the whole bloody forest. Like here. Get this side cleaned up as well. I need the wood. There. I think I've got an interesting idea for at least one video. To do a little build thing. I don't know if it should be a stream or just a straight video. I think it might actually be better as a straight video. Although I don't do a lot of those, they do seem to tend to do well at this point. Too far away, aren't I? Okay, good, done. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Hey, that's there. Let's just go a little higher so we get these lost. A few bits chopped out as well. New forest is awaiting already. 
most of this plant and I'll throw the rest of it out once we get back down on the ground. Okay, I'm going to start having to pull sideways. I do like the fact that you can now literally just bolt in front of where you are. Rather than having the old star where you hang over the edge like a monkey, hoping that you're not going to fall off and break your neck. I remember those days. They were always good, especially when you try to cross a cliff. You pull to your body like... You screw it up once and then you fall a hundred blocks and then you spend an hour getting back to where you were. That's a really fun thing to do. <clears throat> Trees seem to be dying pretty quick now, so I think about to take a stab in the dark, I think we chopped it all up. I am seriously going to get myself messed up here if I don't stop this. Hey, beautiful. Look at that. We already have trees growing out of everywhere, so... Throw that up there, throw that down there. This is kind of a mess of a plant down here. I should really follow my standardized plant thing which is a zigzag usually makes them grow perfectly fine JC, hello and welcome to the game launch. How are you doing? It's good to have you here with us. Go Java Bedrock. This is Bedrock. Playing on Xbox. As I did since day one. Yeah, I I bought the game for 360. Two to three weeks after it came out. It's the best I can do. It's been a long time ago. But yeah, I played the demo of it. And then... I mean, wow, this is amazing. Especially that first, like, original, like, starter village you got. Um, and just absolutely fall in love with it and then went from there. Ooh, oh, not there, buddy. Not there. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's just collect everything up that's fallen out. And more, 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 more. Okay. Fifteen more trees. We'll just put these away. Well, we might put one or two down here. There or on there. Uh, can I play? Of course you can, man. Post up your deeds, I'll send you an invite. Pretty chill server, just don't burn anything down, don't steal things. Definitely do not kill villagers, and please do not touch the bees. That's about it. That's usually all I request. Because people don't do those things. And most people actually don't, so it's usually a chill sesh. Uh, do I have... Where the hell is our trees? Wow, okay, we've got... We've got serious saplings here. Yeah, I'll follow the rules. Cool, man. Apples can go up there. Although the apples I should keep with me so I can eat them. We can build some of those and those, and then we can build like two stacks of that after I go to sleep because I do not need any accidents with creepers inside the village. Because there's usually something inside the village that will cause creeper mayhem. Do -do 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 -do. 
And yeah, I set the spawn inside the village as well. Yeah, I still need to do the outer layer of the the roof. But that's not Hey spider. Just kinda of chilling in here, aren't you man? Oof, yeah. The dangers of being a roofer is you can kinda of screw up when you misstep. That's a long way down. Yeah, now we're back on the roof. That beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cool. Yeah, let's go back this side and actually have some more wood. Sweet, right there. There, okay. Well, lining this up. Nice. What's your username? Uh, it is. I'll type it for you, man. It was my Xbox thing, so. Just about every game I play, this is my tag. Okay, so we can start with the next section of the roof, so I don't die, please. Yeah, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Hey! I hear a happy pug dance coming up on the screen. Thank you. I'm a Chrome player for subscribing as very, very kind of you and welcome to the game. Let's put us up here for you. Once I press the right button, there you go. Damn, that is freaking awesome, man. I hope you are having an awesome day. Because you're making my day a hell of a lot better. And if I don't fall off this roof, I will be even better. <laughs> yeah, we built another piece, so we're good. Uh, another piece down here, go down through here. Yeah, see, so you added me the JL. Yeah. I don't know, pop-ups on here, so... I need to... This way. Yeah, wait, I want to have to do this on my PC. Where's that notification? And then you screw me. That is just rude. It showed the thing, and then it's just like, you know what? You can't see it. Yeah. You're not a friend. Uh, so yeah, you may need to type that thing up so I can get to it, man. I will send you an invite. And then I don't have to do it again. I did see your name, but yeah. It only showed there for a second. And when I clicked on it, it went away. Because yeah, unfortunately this is not... Is this going to show me who added me? No, it's only achievements. Lameness. Yeah, let's be quick about this, this time. Uh, uh, let's do it in the game. Hold on. Yeah, that is right. Oops. So now we should be able to do this. There we go. But to my game. Let me know if you get it or not. Um, if you don't, that's all cool. I will do it again. Because I know 
it doesn't always work. There we go. Hey, <laughs> my man's there. We need to do the, We need to actually create a new friendship dance. We had an old friendship dance, but we need to create a new one. But the friendship dance is really designed so that uh, we can uh, give it a moment. Uh, Yeah. Roof is coming along. Roof is also damn sight taller than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't really prepared for what I was doing here. Almost one, two, three, four, five. This roof is going to be yay tall. I might just build it flat, like do another another row, go one step and further and then just flatten it out. I got basically this was it one, two, three. Yeah, that actually works fine. I can build a capping thing on there. At this point I can actually build it flat and then just do the capping thing anyway. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't need to do that much more crazy roofing here. Uh, this is not crazy roof simulator. Okay. Oof, I am going way, way backwards. This is going to be a bad day for me. I left by accident. That's alright, man. Now that you're a friend, you can just jump in whenever. I know with mobile, it can sometimes for me be a little, a little choppy, and people drop out. Because there's one dude who used to play, but yeah, it's always funky for him. So, but if you're a friend, no, we don't have to worry about no funk. It just does what it needs to do. Okay, that is all my wood. But I thought we could get into here is this should be the center line on the roof because that is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, yeah, center line. But one singular one, so you have to build them two together. Uh, that won't work. We pulled like a block thing over the top. I got all this stuff. I might as well find some interesting use for it, right? Uh, interesting use game, not. Straight up weird. You. Uh, there. There. Uh, there. Here. Try not to break my neck. Here we go. I'm going to have to go chop some more wood to make some more planks. Yeah, okay. And then we can basically build another thing on top of here, but that is not too wildly necessary right away. Yeah, although, yeah, as you can see, I made a little mistake. Hmm. <laughs> That's the only way to get down. Um, I certainly need to get some beds going. I think I still have enough chunks of iron to uh, get a pair of shears. What's up, buddy? So, um, there's two pieces there. See, the two is a three. 
it is dirt. beautiful lap shields lap stays for dies really don't need more stairs i still got more iron uh, let's toss that in there and do this eh. Ooh, it's night time uh, let's hit the sack i do not want to get mangled i suppose if i could build a fence around it again i've done it on the other village when we started went around the whole village well wall to wall fencing and then just hundreds of candles in the middle it was lit up bright there and we didn't have any problems with stuff spawning except the sky demons because the sky demons they don't care for lights they'll just come down nail you uh where do you mind where do you mine at um this way brother We go down here and you take the water lift down all the way to the bottom. Watch my man pop out. Anywhere in here, man. <laughs> The water things will get you to where you need to be and then you can just kind of chum around and do what you need to do or oh, problem at all man yeah i found this sort of by accident just digging down and i dug into this place so there is an abandoned mine in there which i haven't fully explored and there's lots of goodies there really yay and we're out and about. Sweet. I still need to do the outer rim of the roofing. That's why it looks weird. You can see the basic steps. They obviously the upside down steps as well. But that's last set of steps I need to still do. I have to build up and basically do it but again this is good enough I need sheep by the dozen and I need everything else I can get my hands on thank you sheepies I still need a sheep pen I actually need a whole farm that was that was <laughs> it was actually my goal tonight was to build a farm Ooh, we've got a beehive now. Now I have a slight problem. It's like, now I have more than a slight problem. Come here then. Come on. This way, buddy. Come on. Into the peaceful pond we go. Come sit with me a minute. Yeah. Not peaceful at bloody all. Um, yeah. If there's beehives, I don't generally chop it out. But as you can see, we have a small problem there. That that thing is basically entrapped. And I don't know which tree it actually is connected to. So I'm going to chop this one out. Yeah, I really like the bees in this game, so I don't mess with them at all. I'll open it up down here so they can kind of get in and out a little easier. Also why I plant flowers usually close by so they can really make the most of it. I'm surprised these trees are all so short. The last time I planted them they came, came really tall but I think it's I misplanted the shape. You need to do the zigzag and if you plant it too close then it kind of gets weird. But hey, we have our first hive here, so I'm extremely happy about that. And now I need to go find some more bees. 
Moving on, full down there. Sheepies. Oh, sheepies. That was a horse. Hey, is that Mr. Socks? Hey, Mr. Socks actually became a full grown horse. We saw you and you were just a little, little sockling. Okay. Enough wool. Enough white wool for one bit and one, enough black or grey wool for another. We only need probably about 20 beds in there or something. So, easy done, really. Yeah, I know, the roof is still half open, but don't worry about it. It will get fixed. I just want more villagers. Whew. That's the main thing. I'm not seeing anything spectacular here. We probably need to build a little, little central hall. We did it now, one. I built the Hall of Celebration. This is a very cool place. We had our first birthday party in there. We also got to a thousand subs in that place. There's a cat. Bed. Blank. Bed. Bed. Oh, bed. You just dyed it white. Okay. That's seriously not super helpful, but fair enough. Sorry, sir. I'm trying to leave here. Need to eat too. Hmm. Uh, that can go up there. Or I, I have nothing left to eat. And is, there should still be food somewhere in my house. There's raw food. Got baked potatoes. Yummy. You, dude, are extremely close to my face again. Uh, baked potatoes need to come in. Damn, there's a lot of junk on me again. Okay, you go out, you go up there, trees get out, get out, get out. Steps I can actually still use. Okay, we got sticks for like six days on me. Yeah, let's go put some beds in there. But, managing time first. Listen, if we build a proper place to store everything, it's a little less chaotic. And I think I'm going to be working there. Hmm. I just found six diamonds. Bloody nice, man. So now I say the thing is, this could also, rather than putting this whole place as places to sleep. Like, we can make like a little little hub in there. And I have the beds up here. The last one is going to be, what, there-ish. Because it's too wide so you want to go there. Still go past there. Because, yeah, the fencing really screws it up, so you can't go too much there, but. We have three in there, maybe a couple in the middle, and then some down this side. But, put this one here. All right. One back there. Okay, yeah, so hopefully the villagers will be smart enough to come in here and then start using this. Um, I know if I build certain things, they might be attracted to come this way. Like if... Furnace? No. If it was that or a smoker, yes. 
but I need solid blocks of wood for that one, and that one I need iron, and that, and that. Yeah. Uh, a loom, we need string. I have string. But yeah, if, if we make, like, industry around here, somebody will come up here. They always start chumming around the, the outer edges if you put stuff down there. And I need to make some bread so I can start getting them to expand, what we say. String. Stringeth. There we go. Strings. Nice. And that will lead to... Uh, make like... One down there. I make three limbs. And put that there and that there. I don't know exactly where this is going to be, but I need to dig another one of these ones. Maybe this side. Um, that'll be like the securing wall, and then we'll dig a pit in here. And that will be another loom hole. As such. But to get the villagers to come this way, I'm going to have to put stuff here to, to attract them to come this way. Put one there. That should get them going. It's usually if you don't put it anywhere useful or anywhere they normally go, then they just kind of ignore it. Put a loom in here as well. But I really want to break this out and put a second bed in here. Put a loom in between their beds. I know it's supposed to be a chair. I'm well aware of it, but there's not going to be a chair. Let's, let's be really honest. Okay, things are going wild up here, so let's see what we can do. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy on the wall. Uh, I probably need to get you guys some food. You guys don't eat roast potatoes, so baked potatoes, so not going to work ideally for you guys. Nice. Put that up there, put this in here. Bucket time. And add the third part to the lava fountain. Ow. Oh, you missed that time. Okay, you only missed once. There we go, Mr. Annoyance. Yeah, I really need to get some stuff. Uh, no! Okay, we're safe. Yeah, I do not need a thing blowing up there. That is the bloody monument of thanks. People who donate while I stream so you get a special place there yeah you do go on the board and there's actually another special board that will be coming in for top supporter of the month but yeah if you do donate while I'm playing Minecraft you will actually get a spot up on there okay villager just went down because these two I saw you guys kill them uh, that's not what I want to see, is villagers dying. I'm trying to... More villagers, not less villagers. You know what? Let's close my door. Right. Come inside, sir. Come on. Come in here. Thank you. Ah, at least now you're not harassing the villagers out there. Okay, so... How much wool do I have? No, that's just to convert the other one to a white bed. I actually like a little mixture of color beds, so. You two, I really need to lure into a little spot. We've got three sheep here, so we could definitely get some beds going on now. I'll throw this upstairs, so we can at least get the initial part of this done. I still need to fix that up. Put that up there, and a fishing rod, and we'll take bed one and two. 
I'll probably come back at some point and actually color all these bits to something wild. Interesting. Uh, give me food. Sure thing, man. Just move away from where that creeper is. I don't. It's nice, man. It makes more food. I've been slackish with that. Another white sheep. There's another white sheep. Okay. We need to just set up a sheep pen. I don't know where, though. I feel like even behind my house could be a good place for a sheep pen. Okay. I can get some beds going here. Ooh, okay, it's done override beds. Oh wow. Well. Uh, you got them all. Good. Oh, thank you, man. We'll put them in storage and we can all use them. here and yeah other people want to come and play what i'm always looking for is beds and usually the only people who suffer is the poor villagers who get their beds robbed out <laughs> i remember that village man i used to go around like half an hour every after every session just putting beds in and people still <laughs> just robbing the beds like why why do you go and rob the beds man that's unnecessary but yeah, here we are. So we need to build a sheep pen. And then we will do what we need to do from that point forwards. Uh, we should have enough to build a bunch of fence. So, how much fence can we do? 24 fences. I'll just do it on the back of my house, really. Come on. Oh, there we go. Uh, make this easy. We'll just put that there. I know you're going to get stuck in there. I can see it in your face already. <laughs> he's just doodling around the outside like oh i won't fall in there and i'll come back and there'll be like six villagers in there who can't escape i'm like why 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 do you guys have to do this to me okay let's just close that one off so let's throw this and this up here for now Get our harvest up and running. Hey, pumpkin. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go, man. Pumpkin patch this ain't. This is a potato patch. Although, things have kind of a little ruined down there. Okay. Nice. I don't have my hoe on me, so. Yeah, I don't think that's picking up the seeds. Let's just get rid of carrots. Nice. Okay, beetroots are planted. Shouldn't run on here because I'm going to destroy this. Okay, beetroots may not have been fully ripe. Unfortunately. Okay. 
Yeah, just mow down through this whole area and then we can have this all ready to rock and roll. I have so much that I don't actually have space anymore. Okay. This is working out really well. This this is working so well that I might actually have to build the top level. Oh, I'm a man's back. Good. Uh, 64 more seeds. I hope I was back. Fair enough, man. I know that feeling. Always a fun feeling when I'm trying to stream and then Wi-Fi the sides. It's gonna. It's time to get weird with it. Nice. Okay. Uh, I have some wheat to get me some sheep. So I don't have to go too far. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah, I know. You're hungry. That's right, buddy. Hey, look. You've got a friend that's over here. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he was sort of looking around and he's just like, you. Food. I'm like, yes, me indeed. Food. Come on. Okay. You're going to have all the diamonds back, man. I have no use for it right at this stage. Let me just get my uh, friends in here and I'll give you your diamonds. Uh, I don't have one of those other things, so I'm just going to do the lazy way. Do that there, here. Okay, let's go get some more sheep in here. There was two grey sheep around here somewhere too. That's the cat. You says need to come in here. We we got we got looms in here. I need to lure them up. Might have to build a little workshop area in front of the place and that will get them going in there. A lot of times you need to kind of really lure them there. Probably good to build a little farm there for them as well. Err, uh, indeed. Wait, come on, come on. Yeah, I saw you. You're hungry. There we go. Good sheepies. Good to see the cat population is not reducing in number. Come on. Hey, there we go. That's one of the great sheep I was after. There we go. Look at you guys. Okay, now time for me to get my rewards from you guys. Yeah, I'll die some of the sheep again. I found that worked well. Somebody told me about it last time. You want wild, wild colored sheep, let's just dye them. I never knew you could do that, but yeah, once you do it, then you kind of get all sorts of crazy going on. So. Where the hell's the bread at? Oh, there we go. And I have none left of that side. So. Uh, put take half of that there. Take half, put it on there. There, yeah, man, if you want some bread, it's in there. Up yourself. That can go there. Okay, I need to make some more bits. What do I need? Wood. Always something. 
Okay, let's go chop down some more wood. Okay, that is all working lovely down there. Um, 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 where's my bucket? Do mm. not be running around with a bucket of lava. That is how you kill things. That's also not great, but at least if you need to use it, it's there. Yay. Hair cuts for everybody. We get some more wood, and then we can build more beds, and I can get more people in there. And hopefully, we lure at least one singular dude in there. Once you do, they will come around. It was like the apartment block I built. Maybe it was there till I managed to lure one in. Once I lured one in, it was game over. So I had to lure them up from the this way got river had split the village. Put them up, a couple of beds, they started sleeping there, then I came up to the apartment block, then they went into the apartment block at the bottom ground level, then they went up to the first level and built a ton of beds there and they lived there. And they actually moved further and up. And I think there's a couple of guys living like on the third and fourth level because I, I basically did all the apartments with some bare basic essentials so yeah go okay, bit time go okay, six more bits you need some wood uh I have some wood for you, man. Leave that out there for you. Still need to do the fencing around this. So this place is camped off, uh, camped off and looks nice. I really don't like that. <laughs> Those little sparks flying out of there. Like, yeah, it's not ever going to cause any issues. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll put those ones this way. Uh, let's get that up to there. This one. This way. One. This way. Yeah, so you can get a good amount of bed in here. And that fire down there is producing a fair bit of light. I really need to finish up that roof. But I've got the wood for it, so that's awesome now. Uh, that can go up this way. And uh, that can go up there for a second. Let's start here again. So that is the walkway. That is there. Later on I will actually pull it up maybe. Okay, I got more space to build more beds, so now it's just a case of wait and see. Well, let's finish off the roof so nothing comes here and harass people. So bring that down and that down. We'll just kind of hold up from here. Or not. Ooh, wrong one. Okay, yeah, now I'm completely outside, which is actually even better. Kind of. I'll do sillinesses here. Okay, now the roof is at least shut. I know it's not complete, but it's shut. Um, I probably should chop my way back through one of these. There we go. Who cares about a broken leg? That is pulled up. 
fix that up. I'm gonna um, these ones that need to be. There we go. Now at least the roof is functional. It's not aesthetically awesome yet. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done to get that miracle happening, but now we have spots in here so people can come and have a nap. get four torches four torches actually will do a lot for me that's, that's actually perfect uh listen my man's on fire yeah, I need to cover that lava up there. <laughs> it's bloody dangerous. Yeah, so many half jobs here. Not good. I was blown up by a creeper. Ah, oh, God. Yeah. They're still around in this village. That is one thing I hate. This is having the village destroyed by creepers. And they will just not stop being uncool about life. And there's a lot of them here too. Like crazy amounts of them here. Oof, look at this. Hey, really did a number on this place. Seriously. Pain and the neck creeper. <laughs> Poor guy's house. Yeah, look at him. He's just sleeping on the floor. He's like, nah, man, that's too dangerous. <laughs> it's too damn dangerous. Oh, your house is maybe not going to be perfect, sir. I, I'll try. I don't have enough. I actually have enough cobblestone to maybe fix it up a little bit. It's still a bloody mess. I think I have a spare door somewhere as well for him. Uh, and we have some spare stairs. Look at that. Sorry, not your fault, man. <laughs> the creepers are just part of life here. Unfortunate part of life, but part of it nonetheless. Don't worry, I've made a few holes in this village as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to back off those ones. Hit him a couple of times, back off, come back. Sort of tease them towards death. As I learned the hard way back in the day. Okay, villagers, you guys need to seriously go take a nap. You're still out here doing silly things. At least we don't have any creepers in here. It can always get worse. Now we have wood problems again. We get some more wood. Is it never enough wood? Why is it always? Are you guys always creeping around here in the forest, man? Just trying to collect a little bit of wood. Make a couple of beds. Yeah, I think there will have to be a little bullet project to make a thousand frickin' lights. So we'll light this place up. And you are one of the reasons why we're going to have to do that. Yeah, because you are super uncool about life. Alright. Got what we need out of there. Okay, nice. Any more sheepies? Yes. Go okay, man, it's asleep. Alright, let's go head up the go head up the bed in here. Okay, and here. 
Not around. There we go. Tucked in tight. Good uh, time. And then three beds. Lovely. We got one bed there, one bed there. There is a way. No card. All three beds out on one go. Yeah, still haven't seen a single villager here, but like I said, I think if we do like a little patch here as a farm, even like just along here, I'll just do this. No, not quite, game. Close, but no way for uh, if we go, what the hell are you doing in here? No, 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 creeper, get out, get out of there, brother. No, you get, no, come here. This way, this way. Come on. Last thing I need is you in there. Thank you. No need you getting silly in there. Uh, we need to dig a trench, so we'll leave a walk space on the outside, that's too deep, that's perfect, and we'll dig it to, yeah, probably about here, doesn't need to be particularly massive, and then one, two, three, there's a little, like a little water thing up this side. Well, look kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna go mining. Good luck down there. I don't want to get nuked by all the creepers hiding everywhere because I'm sure that place is <laughs> equally as messed up with creepers hiding everywhere. Okay. The, this will actually work perfectly. But I need to get some more of that walkway stuff going there. Yeah. You can actually yeah, do this up so they can plant up here as well. <laughs> nice. That makes it a really nice big area up here for planting. And let me trim you guys while we can. I uh, don't have any seeds on me at this stage. I think I have some spare seeds. I was just going to mow down something. Uh, uh, not the seeds that I want. And here, I okay, let's go see what the farm looks like. And glass. Um, not quite the glass that I want, but I think this will just happily do for now. Don't catch fire. Okay, point proven. You won't fall in there and have eternal burns. Okay, seed time, start a farm there. I've already got a spare one of the other bits that I need, and then we are good. No seeding going on around there, so let's see if we can just make our own from smashing grass. There should be plenty of grass around here to smash. There we go. One seed already. Two seeds. Hmm, I think. Is that hoe still around? I think it is. So now that I put it down here, they're probably going to start planting potatoes anyway. They are kind of potato fiends in this 
I wonder if one stage in a future update they will actually add it to those different farmers. Or that they just randomize the farmer so they will actually plant different things. Because you'd think, right, that wheat is the easiest thing to come by in this game because you literally just go whack grass and boom, wheat seed. Um, these guys always have potatoes. Okay, we've got nine, so I need a hoe and then we can start tilling the ground. And I need my bucket actually. I think my bucket still has lava in it. The joys of anyone being a one bucket man. Okay, the bucket is gone too. Um, there's no iron left. I have to get go hunt for iron to make a bucket. A smooth stone. And I really need my bucket. All the iron's gone. Ho. Although the hoe doesn't make sense unless I have a bucket. There's my hoe. Thank you for shutting the door on my face. <laughs> I want to smash it. Dog Max 036. Hello and welcome to the game. It's good to have you here. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah. I don't have a bucket. I wonder if the buckets are consumed again. Hmm. So now at one stage, if you had a bucket, right, and you tossed and tossed it in there and then you could just pull it back out, but maybe it's consuming the buckets again. It's kinda sucky if it does. <sighs> cool. Was it three iron for a bucket? So we go find free. Doing good. That is good to hear, Doc. That is very good to hear, my friend. Yeah. And uh, come on, down the water elevator. Seriously, I'm gonna get some. Oh, I've got my bread. One, two, three. Okay, let's see if we can find some iron. I bet you there's iron down there, but I also bet you I'm gonna die if I go in there, so. At least rather just not. Go right down here. Thanks, for adding you as a friend. Thank you, man. I should add you as a friend too, so I can make sure that I can play with you. But that disappeared rapidly again, so I think it was this and this. Export. Not that thing either. Open the chat screen again. Yeah, Max, I need to need to add you. Uh, iron. Let's try and get five things done. What's up here? Uh, a leap of death. That's what's there. You're going to fall off and break your legs. No, that's not the way to go. There must be iron around here somewhere. There's Lapis sitting right here. And we've got gold. Must be iron in here somewhere. Yeah, Max, if you want to join, just post up your tags, man. I'll add you as a friend. Like I said, everybody's welcome to play. It's pretty chill. Uh, like I said, just don't steal. Don't kill the villagers. Don't kill each other. And don't kill the bees. It's a pretty simple rule. Isn't that common? You should probably go further. 
Hmm. Yeah. I'm just wandering around here because I have found iron on some of those spots. Ooh, diamond. That's always appreciated. Been finding a fair amount of diamond in this stuff. Huh. I thought I felt eyes burning into me. You, I don't like, man. You are creepy. You need to stay away. Go creep over somewhere else. That is dark as hell. I wish you could hold a torch. That would be something cool. If they can make, like, some sort of handheld light. Now that could be handy. This goes nowhere. This place I could possibly just get into this stuff. And go further up. there is to see down here lava and death and water the water actually scares me more than the lava because all that usually happens is that the water ah ha ha the water washes you into the lava oh that's right there's i forgot about these guys this is why i lost some lost stuff yeah, there's another monster spawner in here. There's actually two monster spawners in this area. There's that one and then where the the platforms are. If you look way up, you just see like the double spider webs up there. And you usually see the the bits of the guys who fell off there. Uh, well, there's more diamond here. Well, I can't make a bucket out of diamonds. But it would be nice if you gave me something other than that. Ah, uh, okay, so that actually loops all the way around. That's kind of wild. Just triple check that I didn't miss any iron spots here. Plenty of redstone. Which is good to know. I might come back for that at some point. But not right now. Hmm. Not seeing that Peltate sign of iron hanging around. Oop. Been down there, I know that much. Just chasing, I think it was more diamonds or iron. There's something down there I was chasing. Yeah. Up. Oh. oh, buddy. And I, there's more stuff down there, but I'm not willing to swim through there and drown. This is going to get sort of stuck. What's in here? Dark, deep. Watery, going nowhere pit. There's a lot of that in here. Pits with a lot of water and a lot of darkness that just doesn't seem to go anywhere. Uh, more redstone. Definitely not a lack of redstone and lapis down here. Fair amount of gold as well, but I, don't, I haven't even really bothered. That looks like iron up there. That should be enough to melt to get a bucket then. Nope, gold. My bad. I have iron. Cool. That gives me two pieces. I need to get three pieces. Yeah, I just need enough to make a bucket, man. That's all I'm trying to do. So I can do the thing. And yes, you can join, Max. Um, thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, this place with tags. I saw you did add me as a friend, but 
It only shows up on my PC, so. You, pink eyes, need to chill. I can hear you being unchill. Extremely close to me. It's probably trying to take my iron. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> I'm not giving it up. Not that easily, anyway. <sighs> yeah. It's like, God, it's Sunday morning already for me. Jeez. How long have I been streaming? Four hours, God. I was like, man, I'd probably do like an hour and a half, two hour stream. I've got like another six things to do. You creeper, stay out. You guys spawn in this area way too densely. Way, way too densely. Close that up. Good. Throw that in there. Yeah, that kind of re-popped out of there. Uh, let's throw that in there. Somebody might want it. I can use it. Hmm. Mm. So I got three. So I can get a bucket as it stands, and I can start making water, which can then, in turn, lure. You need to be lured away from the house. I do not want any more pits and ditches here. One thing I haven't seen a lot of is coal, actually. The only place I found coal was actually up there on that hill where I want to build the castle. Just a little castle. But that's the only place I've actually seen coal. That was a pit. <laughs> I was hoping to dig into like a coal cluster or two, but no coal cluster. Just sadness. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to definitely put uh, the thing around here. Look at these guys. Probably why there's no villagers there. You guys have chewed on all of them. I don't think the iron golem is spawning either anymore. Yeah, let's just make sure that. You guys realize that it's dangerous out here, so we don't have any, any, oh, oh, you took out the side, you, you, pain, this didn't make a little hole either, you took out like six meters of soil here, these guys are always such a pain. I only blew off the site, but man, just can't have nice things. So yeah, Max, if you send that, do a post up your tags or your username or whatever you prefer to call it. I'll send you an invite. Yeah, that was at least enough to do that, but I'm not gonna have enough to uh, redo that. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with my slight modification to your place uh i got beetroot seeds there that's gonna work and where is the hoe oh it's there yeah you guys need to kind of be chilling here yeah i put this one down because I'm not surprised about that. I'm kind of surprised that the guy up here didn't do it. Yeah, so, that's it. So if the username comes up, then I can post it through. And once I add you, then whenever I play, then you don't have to ask again. Sir, you need to not be here anymore. You are painful. I need to get more water. Let me get the water done. Let me do that. Then we go from there. Okay, grab some of that. Up this way. Uh, there. Good. 
Yay, beautiful. I love infinite water. Yeah, let's see, when I started playing this back in the 360 days, no infinite water. Every block was manually carried to where you wanted. It was, it was cool, but it was painful. Yeah, so that is our walkway, so that's going to stay nice. This is our row zone, so that can be mowed down. I still hear you there, pink eyes. I don't know where you are, but there you are. It's like you kind of like, look, look, I'm grabbing bits of your building. What are you going to do about it? Like, I'm going to hit you in the head with a sharpened stick. What are you guys doing out on the day anyway? What are you guys supposed to like not spawn there in the day? How did that like not hit you at all? I'm going to die out here. That's way too hateful. Yeah, no. We've got one loaf of bread left. Oh! And he comes inside and kills me. What a animal. Yeah, this is not over, dude. This is seriously not over. Damn. You're just teleporting in here now. Okay. That guy seriously needs to uh, chill. Alright. Uh, let's... They have become worse. Well, we'll call that revenge. Okay. What I wanted to do was place this here. And I need to get you out of here. Mm. Okay. Can you come out, sir? I'm letting my sheep out. Oh man, what the hell is the bloody fence piece? There we go. There we go. Okay, that works well enough. Don't really need a broken bow. I do need this though. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Once I get food, more food, I'll feed you guys. Hey, look, farmer man. I planted some seeds for you to cultivate there, sir. I'll even plant some potatoes for you if you like. I know you guys like potatoes. There you go, see? Potato. Potato. Sir, potato. He doesn't seem keen. He really does like. Eh. I want your potatoes. They're dirty. They smell. Like, well, that is also kind of rude. Yeah, I planted everything I could. I need more food. So now the real hope is that. I don't even know how many villages are left, actually. That's a creepy as hell noise. Yeah, so there's another farmer down here, bro. We got farmers, that's about all that's left, but I think a lot of them got chewed on. So. Yeah, we got some dudes down here. Yeah, we definitely lost a lot of villagers, so. Time to make the flower. 
Well, I ain't gonna get far of that either. The field is not ready yet. This will take it a little bit of a way. <laughs> Being eyeballed. <laughs> this little cow. Look at it. Like, you got food in there, man? I'm like, well, maybe. Depends how hungry you are. Yeah, no, I feel sad too. There's only four pieces. I'll feed him and he just looks at the ground. He's like, Is that all? Is all you got? I'm like, Well, unfortunately, yes, it is. I know, it's unfortunate, but like I said, what can I do? Other than finish off this piece of. So this, yeah. So this whole area needs to be covered off. And then lit up. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, my farmer just left. So I'm assuming we're going to have a little problem with farmers. Okay. That's a few bits for us. Better go for a town and actually fill up all the empty houses and convert most of them to double bed zones. Actually not too hard to do it either. I put three in here or did I put two in there? Ah, that's why it's wrong. I was like, what the hell is going on? I started one too far back. Okay, well, that still works out beautifully because that means an extra two beds just got slotted. Oh, somebody just grabbed a bed. Yeah, I saw that. There was a little twinkle in somebody's eyes. He's like, a fresh, clean bed? Can I sleep there? And the answer is yes. Yes, you may. This is for you guys. Okay, that is there. So there we go. Now we got tons of beds. We really have to. We can put them sideways in here as well. But, yeah. There's plenty of place. They can all find a spot... And then there's still downstairs to do as well, so I'm hoping that yeah, extra seeds here, potatoes. There's a baby villager, so we still have dudes alive and kicking in here. You can see like this I can mow out I can put three beds across here really. I don't generally like to modify the houses much. That's not my style, but yeah. Make a runner for it. This is a drill. See if you guys are actually up to scratch. So we don't all just get mauled and murdered when enemies roll in. Like that. Uh, that there. there we go. Let's at least get up here. You traders always end up losing your llamas. 15 diamonds, damn. Man has been busy down there in the ditch. Yeah, there's nothing here that's harvestable yet. Carrots can be harvested. They were ready. Maybe there's one of those ones that will only give you singles. 
Okay. Nice, that's a little bit of plant carrots up there. That should lure a few more of them out. Blacksmith is rolling around here still. Yeah, let's make some more. More of a carrot patch here. Okay. Well, at least we have carrots so that everybody can get food. And let's get some more. So I don't think we have quite enough villagers to have extra jobs. I think we have like the bare minimum of villagers left. Yeah, you escaped, so now we have to deal with this. Okay. Uh, we've got tons of white wool, we've got some of that, we've got our buckets, so uh, happy days. You can live wherever you want to, man. You can stay in there if you want. I say my house is this one here. But you can climb one of the other houses and live there. Or you can just stay in here with all the villagers. That's why we have tons of beds up here. So pick a bed. You can sleep in a different bed every night too, if you like. Oh, good. I can hear a thousand zombies being roasted out here. Yeah, that was a uh, villager. Yeah. I thought something bad was going on there. Uh, 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 I want to build more things. Damn it, you mosquitoes just keep biting me. My legs feel alive. <sighs> Evelyn. Hey, welcome to the game lounge. How you doing? Good to have you here. PvP, yeah, man. Mm. Nah, it's just time to be chill. I need things that will attract these guys. So, what do we need for... What's this? A smoker. We need a furnace and four blocks of wood. That sounds good. Furnace and four blocks of wood. And my axe is about to snap. But it's alright. A tons more we can build. Ah. You're going to take a bite, aren't you? Yeah, I've, I've fought that much. Nothing else got on there. Yeah, let's go up here. Oh, good, man. How are you doing, Evelyn? It's good to have you here. Yeah, we should build an arena at some point when we have more people. And have, like, fight night in there. Stuff. So this one thing we didn't ever get to building on the... Uh, our old village was to get a thing like that built. Old village is cool. Still have it. Actually turned it into a server, but yeah. that got pwned. It cost too much. Uh, I need that, so I need to go get some stone. It's gonna try and. Pull as many people as I can over to the other side. And then focus on getting as many villagers as possible. But yeah, I like these little workshops that I've started digging into it. Bloody hell, mosquitoes, can you stop biting? I'm gonna be scratching all night. I call these things bloody fire mosquitoes. When they bite you, it leaves just a little lump. But it literally feels like fire in your skin. It is not a nice feeling. That's the, the best I can say. It is not a nice feeling. Okay, I'll build one work station. It should actually be out here somewhere. Alright, so... 
What do you actually... Oh, you need that. Never mind. No, no, exactly what you need. There we go. And then we build... Bigger. Um, I need iron for cauldrons. I need two more cauldrons, really. But if I can build a workshop somewhere, then we can get more stuff going. Tool table, I need two. Two iron. Um, we should have iron in the furnace. Yeah, there was not enough left on that other thing to actually complete the job, so. Uh -huh. oh, buddy, I can hear you meowing in my ear. This is the only iron I could dig out. Beautiful. So we can make a tool bench as well. I know I should make it down there, but I'm trying to get the... Yeah, see, they're already starting to come over this way, so... The more I can lure them over this way, see, yeah, man's working on the loom, put that up there. We'll move it around at some point and make it a little more, you know, useful, I suppose, is one way to put it. But this will be... So mainly a little workshop area. Actually, I should move this one. We'll split them apart a little bit. The smithing table can go there, and the smoker will come up. Something like that. So when I come in here, they all go, ooh, I want to do this. Ooh, I want to do this. Ooh, I want to do this. And then go upstairs and sleep. Smoker, okay, sir. Maybe a tool, tool workbench, sir. What else can I build in here that will generally get you guys going up? Put this in here next to that. Um, I need a blast furnace, but that is what? Smooth stones I have, and then I need iron and that. Don't have that much iron. That is my one problem, is iron thus far has been a little slow to come by, to say the least. This needs to move out too. Uh, I can just go sit there. <clears throat> barrels, barrels always attract them too. Thanks to barrels, right? We got, on the previous village, we had people swimming across a river. Apparently, if you build that barrel, they just become semen. So, uh, barrel. We need two wooden slabs. So that would make four wooden slabs? Yeah, I can put only one barrel in here. We ran out of other stuff. Hey, you guys are all staring at me. It's a little creepy, man. Uh, yeah, I kind of would like to put the barrel there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, tiny sir. There you go. See, I got a barrel. And I'll chuck an apple in there. Yeah, see, they're starting to move in here now. So the small experiment is starting to work. I'll bring more stuff up here to plant once I've harvested through my own fields. We are needing food too. And the bees are doing well, so that is a good sign. I love the bees. Okay, so we've got three hives up now. Yes. Still looking a little sad up here. Leave that closed so we don't have any unwanted villagers pillaging the carrots in there i planted it up there but like i said i basically know that i'm going to come back and these guys are going to have ripped everything out of the ground for <laughs> a starter and just potato the hell out of it that seems to be their thing potato mania I really need a mow for some of this. I really, really need some of this. B, you scared me. Damn, man. Do not. 
Don't do that. Take some of those seeds too. Oh, never mind. Do some of the other spots. I usually, yeah, won't be harvesting in such patchy manner. But I have needs. Okay, for you. Oh man, look at this. Beautiful freaking bees everywhere. This makes me happy. Cats, you guys are supposed to scare away creepers, so. I hope you're doing your job. Yeah, uh, put more carrots in here. Whatever I can plant just to make sure that there's crop here. Usually, once you start getting a crop, they will. Uh, Generally stick around even more. But yeah, I need like a ton of bread so I can just feed them. So I can have a munch down. But yeah, we've got we got people now permanently in here. And I'll just be living up here, which is pretty sweet. <sighs> Let's go make some plagues for that. Oh man. Hmm. Let's get grab those and Thanks there. And then once this is done, then I think this is where I'm going to pull the pin on it then. Oh okay. yeah, let's just fix up these two spots here. That's actually the wrong spot, but whatever. I'll deal with that when I go around the outside and actually fix that up. But yeah, otherwise, look at that. Look at that. Little villagers, yeah, he's straight in there taking a nap. So, uh, this is good. Hey! Fire, dude. Um, he didn't die. Yeah, the villagers are spawning because all the baby villagers are starting to pile in here. Look at them. There's like tons of them. Oh, that's good. Nice. So there's enough farming. Yeah, so there's two, five, six. Six in here so far. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, people, this is where we're going to yank on the pins and go get done. We managed to put this sweet building up here, which I'm very happy about. Um, there's not enough light here, which I'm not happy about, but you know, whatever. I want to go and visit my memorial, but I'm so scared something's going to blow up. The rest of the villagers are still just hanging around like nothing's going on. But yeah, people, as always, thank you for all your love and support. And thank you again to Gabby for supporting the channel by donating to it. So that was very cool of you. And yeah, if you want your name on there and you want your name on the board of supporters up there and possibly being the top supporter for the month, which will be a new one that comes up this side. And yeah, use that options of Super Chat, Super Sticker, and Super Thanks. Jay, where will the next stream be? That will be Monday, so Sunday already for me. But generally, I stream Monday to Saturday. Just Sundays I take off, so I can have a bit of rest and get stuff done. Um, it depends on where you are in the world. Man. I'm in Australia, so it's... 12.30 a.m. for me. Um, what game? What games do I stream? Well, I stream War Thunder, because a lot of people who want that. Uh, War Thunder, SnowRunner, Minecraft, Pal World. Um, I need to throw in The Sims 1. Uh, sometimes I throw in a few other games, and I like to see what people request, and I rotate through stuff. So there's usually new things that come into the game lounge. Um, from time to time so yeah it's it's always a mixture of stuff and if you ever have a need for something else just go into one of my streams and comment on there can you play this <clears throat> and i'll put it on a list um, or if you're on the discord there's a long list of games 
and I work through them as I can afford the games or as I get an option to get them for free. But, like I said, without people switching out from the controller to the keyboard. So, as always, people, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support. It's been awesome to have you all here. It's been another epic session. So, as always, leave your likes, leave your comments. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and help us reach our goal, which is up on the board of 2,000 subs. And like I said, if you want to support us and keep me and Helgi going, which you guys will meet at some point, well, you old people who know who've been here for a while, you know how it is. But yeah, keep us alive. So go to Super Chat, Super Sticker, Super Options, get a membership to the channel, and uh, check out the merch store. The one got my new merch out for the t shirts, the 1 million views special, which is the top one achievement on the board. Go check it out. It's actually freaking awesome. So. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty cool t-shirt. But nonetheless, you guys have a great weekend and I'll catch you guys on Monday morning at 7 a.m. Brisbane time. Of course, if you live in the States or somewhere in that part of the world, then it'll really be probably, I think, normally is Sunday afternoon, Sunday night for you. But nonetheless, I will be back then. So stay safe, have a better one and catch you later.